guys. Shani is live, so we're going to jump right into this. Hope y'all are having a good day. <coughs> Jeez. Yeah. I was not intending to make a video today. Um, I have to say I'm not feeling good today. What's new? I'm very, very sick and sore. I'm just not feeling like myself today. Um, Hi, everybody. I see you coming in. I decided to go click on Miss Hussy. If you don't know who Miss Hussy is, subscribe to Miss Hussy. Um, they're a very funny person and they dress up in drag and like talk about stupid drama that, you know, try to make it lighthearted and funny. They don't go into anything really too personal. But when I clicked on, they started talking about negs, right? And apparently negs, tragic and Others have targeted another woman called Wiggy, a.k.a. Witty Widow. Yeah, she's an actual widow, someone who lost her husband. Um, and apparently she has fibromyalgia and she has cancer. Now, as someone who just has gone through a cancer scare and it's still not over, I still have this lump in my breast. Yeah, you have a lump in your breast, but it's a cyst. Is she really going to now try to go back to, oh, I actually, wait a minute, I do have cancer again. Like, oh my um, god, this one. And I have to get it checked out in a few months. Um, around October time. And... I've noticed something among these hater channels, be it Negs, Tragic, Dragnaut, The Geek Room. Yeah, I did see that just the lurker. We'll watch that right after this is over. Uh, uh, Miss Parker, all of them, all of them, um, Barbecue Chicken, uh, just all of them, the, uh, the YouTube underground, like all of the drama community, the hater people, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They all target people who are either sick or mentally ill or has some form of disability. Just look at all the people they target. They all are sick in some way, shape or form because they make it makes it easier on them to to target people who are sick because because wait they talk about g-man all the time he's not sick so they talk about other people all the time that aren't sick what are you talking about we have thinner skin because you oh. know we're dealing with oh, oh oh i got a special guest how you doing babe who is it who's a special guest <laughs> all right let's get into this since this I'll is live this, the thing is it's not that you target people or channels target people that are sick it's, it's that these fucking lols cows pretend to be sick all the time right that's a good that's point the thing. yeah that's a good point with a lot so yeah um and they all do this for reactions they do it for money and it's one of the most disgusting forms of hatred I've ever seen in my entire life. Because not only do they make fun of people, but they go after them in real life. All of these people go after people in real life. And it affects you to really bad ways. Like, I... I she have to get got her therapy pizza. now. Oh, she definitely didn't get her pizza. Her voice she made a shaking. video. She made a video about that yesterday oh, really? or whatever it was. Yeah, that's what you're talking about, right? Oh, I thought I was talking about the one you said that. Uh, I thought that um, somebody 
I thought somebody had made a deal with them to get a pizza. Maybe I misunderstood. Oh, you're talking about the dancing video? I don't know if they got the, that or not. We'll have to listen and see, I guess. Maybe she'll bring it up. Now, because of all the mental damage these people have done upon me. Um... And I, I, I am done, done her. supporting these people in any way, shape, or form, or even wanting to listen. Oh, happy birthday, Stacy! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Stacy. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I don't know what they have to say because they literally target sick people. People who are not 100%, and it's so cowardice of them to do that. So cowardice for them to be like that to people. And Why to does Danny call like Melissa Coward feel like a badge of honor? What now? She's saying that it's cowardice of the channels to do that. Somehow her calling me a coward feels like a badge of honor. <laughs> who were sick. Okay, this is just one person eggs, but it's all of them that do it and targeting sick people. Including me. I am very sick. Fuck you. Right. You're really not, though, Shanny. And I'm not out of the woodwork over the cancer thing, either. What? Because I still have that. I'm not out of the woodwork? <laughs> the fuck? That's she has reached a, a new Jenny, stupid. That makes... <laughs> you either came out of the woodwork or you're not out of the woods. But but you're... Oh, neither. I can't with this woman. Hold on. Let me go back and listen to that again. Yeah, she's and talking I'm about I'm not out next. of the woodwork over the cancer thing either. Because <laughs> I still have that fucking lump in my breast. Assist. Right. You, cancer, you have a lump in your breast say, that you know. We need to do something about it. They didn't. They said come back and that's not how it works, dude. Right. You have a lump, but you know what it is. So she needs to be punished for this. This is fucked up and she needs some sort of consequences. This is not right. Well, if she keeps on, I think that's it's going to catch up with her and it's gonna end up happening. She just thinks because she's gotten away with it for so long that she's untouchable. And she's going to fuck around and it's going to bite her in the ass. I think you're right. I think that someone obviously told them that if the DA were investigating you, you would know. They would have to tell you because that's how it works. Like, you don't think that they investigate shit? They don't secretly? have to tell you. Yeah, yeah, not telling you. Subpoenaing your record. You don't, they don't say, oh, your records no. were subpoenaed. That's not how it works because if they nope. did that, then criminals would say, oh, I'm being investigated. Let me and, stop doing the criminal activity. Right. Like, who the fuck would do that? Mm -hmm. So dumb. Let me speed her up. And they don't bit. care either. They just I don't, don't care. care. That's the truth. At all. For hurting people and, and destroying their lives. Because to them, that means money. So they go to a channel of people who are sick. This is what they do. They go to someone who's sick, who has decent views and and has a bunch of people caring about them <laughs> mm, well herself. that's not you and then she is fooling herself they start infiltrating them by by glove bombing them they're nice to you at first and then whenever your foot goes out of place to what they expect you of expect they expect you of they cut you down and and throw you under the bus and say, oh, look at all this, what this person did, da 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 without ignoring what they're doing is absolutely horrendously wrong. Horrendously Poor wrong. Poor Ron. Poor Ron. And we really need... I don't care if people are looking at everything I say and whatever I do. Apparently This do. is the problem. This is what I'm talking about. They infiltrate someone's life and they cherry pick everything trying to find something to get you with. It's disgusting. Oh, really, Debbie? 
I'll look into that. What's up? They're just talking about another. It's disgusting. Super. They don't want to treat people right. They want to. They want to take people who are sick, and they're real. And, and, and so many people contribute, and 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 make it fun of, and and dogpile in on sick people. And I'm really sick of seeing it. Oh my god, Shani, what you're not understanding and getting is that nobody is doing is calling any of these people out for being sick. Right. That is not what's going on. You're, and you're using it as a shield, which is disgusting. But that, you know, like, she loves to twist shit and word it in a way that sounds worse or different than what it truly is. Well, she's trying to make it sound like it has anything to do with that. No one is saying, we don't like you because you're sick. We don't like you because you're a piece of shit. Right. Um, and I don't know. I always wonder if I'm saying your name right. But uh, Nylena or Nalina... Uh, you gave a super chat and you said it's hilarious how Shani and Rev quack says say they never even think about you quack but can't stop me talking about you quack <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is true this is true I like I don't know about you guys but now I feel like once she gets the computer fixed or um, gets a different one and doesn't have anymore we're gonna miss that sound now <laughs> Because we're so used to it. We're going to, yeah, we're gonna be like, does it sound quieter? And, and was I saying your name right? I hope that I wasn't messing it up. It's N-Y-L-I-N-A. Nalina? Nalina? Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I'm really sick of seeing it. There's an easy fix for that. Right. Oh, okay, Christina. No one cares about you. Go away. You just spam chat looking for attention. And you're an awful person, too. You're one of those people who perpetuate hate and won't let people move on with their lives and heal. You want to keep them in a state of agony for the rest of their life because they did something you didn't like. She got her chat on? Like, yeah. You are one of the worst people ever out there. I'm showing it. It's on the screen. Are we behind you? Like, there? I see, like, people. Oh, uh, yeah, we're behind a little bit. I was who trying to see really want to see talking their to. life because they did something you didn't like. Like, she. Oh, I can scroll up and look. Hold you on. are one of the worst people ever out there. Like, I see, like, people who really want to see other people harmed, you're horrible people in your heart, in your soul. I'll take that. And you could go try to make fun of this and make it lighthearted all you want, but... Um, I think it's 21 V-Tubes, or uh, oh. 21, whatever, because they're in there right now, and the horse is them, the goat is them, the duck is them, they have all these different animals, like, they are so thirsty for attention, dude, like, they, I haven't seen yeah. something that they made, in a they made a time. video about me and Shani, did I tell you, show you that yet? No, no. I'll show you later, well, maybe, maybe, I, I almost don't want to give them the attention, because that's what they're after, but. 100%, like, they're, but I'm telling you, as pathetic as that is, I have, like, there's a lot of pathetic shit that you know people do to try to get attention. They're on they're on a new level. Yeah. Um, Bruce, thank you so much for the super chat, Bruce. You said, Can I ask a dumb question? What or who are Negs? I have no idea. It's Negs is another YouTuber, another problematic YouTuber. A cow um, or a rich reactor? Yeah, well, he started out, I mean, like I know he does his reactions and things too, but he's definitely a cow now as well so but i don't know line. yeah i don't know a whole lot about neg so i can't really speak on it that much um but yeah that's who that is it's literally people going after sick people shouldn't there be outrage about this wouldn't wouldn't you think there'd be outrage about this that there are people out there targeting sick people and harassing them shouldn't <laughs> you have outrage on that you have outrage over everything else but this, oh no, no outrage to this. Why? Because you engage in it. You engage in the military. It, 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 you engage in this mentality. That's what it is. 
all of you like to hurt sick people and you think it's funny when you see a reaction out of them um sandra thank you so much for the super chat you said did i oops did i see the petition made my day i did see the petition and i did sign it as well um we talked about it some last night on my um live stream with auntie jesse so i will drop uh, or actually mods if one of you could drop the link to that petition in the chat right now that would be great that way anyone else that wants to go check that out and sign it can do so i Thanks am again, sick Sandra. Now, son. i'm very sick thank you very much he's targeting another sick woman called wiggy witty widow a woman who is as is is under cancer treatment who has um, fibromyalgia so she probably has mental problems too it's connected either bipolar disorder or bpd because it's connected hey gene what i just changed my picture to the ai one but i'm going to send you a couple uh tj wanted to see some of the ones where it made me a woman i'm going to send you those <laughs> you want me to show them on here sure Oh my um, God, that's hilarious! I've been doing this <laughs> AI out of thing. Your mind. Like Gene says, this thing that'll make you like an AI person. Yeah, it's just an app. An app. Um, I can't get it to not make me a woman. Like it took so long for me. It's to It's not get making you a woman. You just don't like the way you just think it makes you look like that. It looks womanly, but it's not making you a woman. Well, I haven't shown you those ones yet. Those ones, and I'm telling you, the description it said, um, <laughs> "long-haired blonde woman." uh i mean it was the craziest thing yeah you have to make sure well the i don't know which one you're using the app that one that i use gives an option to where you put male or female oh so <laughs> that specifies yeah, it maybe I you're using maybe i should i'll send i'll show you the one that i used and that might work better for you interesting i just don't know how when i have a six inch long beard it goes to woman. It's just the way that it, uh, the skin and everything looks that because it's, you know, everything's very smooth and it's my soft, supple skin. Yes. <laughs> and it's really gross. No one's a child abuser here. That's what people label me as, and that's not true. I am not a child abuser. Thank you very much. But I love my them. children. Yeah, she loves her children, all right. And I wish people would take this seriously and look within themselves and realize what they're doing to people. Like, look what you're doing to people. Like, you want to complain that people hate you, but you don't want to, and, and you want to complain that someone says bad to you, but you never think about the, the, the reason why they said something to you. Dude, is she joking? Maybe it's because you, you get into other people. What's that? She said, you don't want to think about why people say something bad about you. She's out of her fucking mind. <laughs> people's lives and you try to get personal with them yeah i'm i'm pretty much 100 percent sure about the 21 uh thing oh uh, you... and you can let you can let i mean you don't if they're not doing something you can let them stay in here uh as long as they why don't. what's wrong like some dead dog gaming must be them and they came in um but uh what you do that's bad well it's one spamming yeah is spamming two is you're thirsty as fuck and don't let like you just don't let shit die and three you wanted to talk shit about me in the yeah, where did this transphobic thing come up? So just because I don't even, Michael didn't even know you were trans, so. I don't um, even know who the fuck you are still. Wait, but, hold on. They're saying Jason's live. Let me see. Um, But anyway, yeah, it's just, you know why. Let's be real. You know why. And it's, 
you spam the chat and stuff and it's not cool. Nobody, nobody, um, respects that. All right. right. Let, let me, let me pull this up enough about that. Let me pull this up and we'll go back to the rest of the Shani one afterwards, but Rev is live. So we're going to jump on here and see what he's saying. I'm really glad we. No, what I was saying was. No chat. The chat's disabled. So. Of course. That when I think about this drama community, because that's what it's called, the drama community, which that tells you all you need to know if you want to be a part of it. You don't. No. They stir up drama on purpose, man. Yeah. But I was just thinking to myself, and it came out audibly, and you're like, wait, screw this. We should stream it. Yeah, we should. Oh, my God. Uh, I see a bunch of actually demented people. Their their mindsets are so dark that it's the type of stuff that you hear in true crime. Yeah. It really is. It really like, is. They're the same types of people. Yeah. Dead dogging. This is exactly the problem, okay? Because now here you are again, you know, wanting explanations for things or whatever. You're lucky that you haven't been blocked because you really shouldn't be in here because you have been blocked. Um. But this is why, see, you're derailing the chat. You're derailing the stream by doing all this, and it's all to get some attention for yourself. And that's just dirty. It's just a, it's, I, I'm sorry, but it's not the way you do things, and definitely not the way you're going to do things to get respected. You, you know, I'm all about, I've shared your videos before. I've, I've told people, like, I have supported you, but that does not give you the right to come in every one of the streams and spam the chat and spam the chat and spam the chat and i know that you were warned about it several times and you still went to do it so that's why and um if you want to be here fine but if you don't stop letting the saying all this stuff you're going to get blocked with this account as well so here's your warning stop doing it and i mean like you come in on, yeah. on like multiple accounts like you like it's like you're trying to be slick but also you're using this shit you're just like them like you use this shit to play some kind of victim when you're not a fucking victim Get the fuck out of here. But the thing you don't know about me, my mom is married to my former stepdad, who is now my stepmom, a transgender person. So get the fuck out of here with that. Right. It's ridiculous. It just to act like someone's transphobic just because they don't agree with you. Per, like, that's just. Right. I don't like. It's ridiculous. You. And it's not right. It's really wrong to try to insinuate that and make people think that. So, yeah, just stop. And if they had no worries of law, uh, who knows what they do? But yeah, we're not going to address anything else by that person because I'm done letting you come in and derail the stream. So because yeah. they do things that are against the law and they know they are and they just do them because they know they'll get away with it. Yeah, because it's the Internet. The Internet is treated in a way that it's less than reality and it's reality. <laughs> the people who are. <clears throat> on the internet are real okay yeah, we're not avatars and like, and and people are going to exist if you like it or not yeah on the internet and i'm seeing this i'm really glad we started you started the live because it came to my mind um and it may have just exited again but i'll get it back again it's it's the targeting specifically the tar that this targeting of sick people of mal they have some kind of malady be it mental or physical and i i i see mental as physical too it's it's so integral to your health it is your brain it is there shouldn't be a distinction there isn't any distinction because your mental can aff affect your physical yeah psychosomatic look, look, look at fibromyalgia for instance that's, that's psychosomatic all, right most most people found a link of trauma to it mm -hmm. the pain is related to all the trauma they suffered and it's like a, and it's like your nerves are on a repeat cycle of traumatizing 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 yeah i can't get out of it like all the trauma burnt out all our myelin on her wait so are they saying he has fibromyalgia now please don't <laughs> oh lord have mercy. nerve cells I'm just wow. catching up to like myelin now. like it, it's actual physical like proof that trauma causes damage it causes da nerve damage 
I don't think anyone's arguing that uh, trauma can cause damage like that and affect people in a lot of different ways. Like, who's saying it doesn't? Right. No one is. No one's questioning her logic. We're questioning her honesty. I don't right. believe. I right. don't believe she tells the truth about her trauma bullshit. Like whatever the fuck she picks up. She sees that these are the symptoms of this. I can mimic those. Let me pretend to have that and get some sympathy. That's what mm -hmm. I question. Mm -hmm. You can think about it. Anybody. It burns out your myelin. The stress levels mm -hmm. of trauma and. And myelin is basically um, this fatty protein type tissue that surrounds the nerve cells. So it's not painful when electricity hits it. And it's actual electricity. Our bodies are giant batteries. That's amazing. Oh God. So when you're talking to someone who has fibro, know that they're getting shocks all the time. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to think. It's like that feeling when something real, something bad happens, right? Uh huh. And then there's that feeling that you get when you find out about it. And it's yeah. like a shiver. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my God, that does damage to your myelin, maybe? E yeah. Or that's like proven at this point. Yeah, right? it burns out your myelin. Wow. So you could imagine for a, a, a victim of like something like SA, that's oh going to cause like permanent wow. yeah. damage. They also noticed that trauma causes uh, differences in, a, in the brain. The brain uh, grows differently and, you know. Yeah. Like for you have memory issues. With brain damage, yeah. Yeah. People with BPD, uh, I forgot what part of their brain is smaller, but there's a certain part of their brain that grows smaller. Okay. Because of childhood trauma. And then we're, we're considered like horrible people for something that happened to us. Yeah. For your trauma. You're judged no. for your trauma. Nobody's it's judging you for your trauma. Like, what? I I don't understand what part of this they don't get and, like, why they, they want to twist it into that. Like, nobody's judging you or putting you down for your trauma. It's for your behavior now. And just because you do experience trauma, that doesn't give you a, an excuse to just act however you want. That's the problem people have. Stop trying I, to spin it and twist it into people judging you because you're sick in some way. I truly, I think that one of their bullshit supporters said, uh, just in some flippant comment, I can't believe people are, uh, you know, being mean to you because you're sick. And she's like, oh, shit, because I'm sick. That has a good ring to it. That'll get some sympathy. And she ran with it. Like, she, like no one's that stupid. No one actually thinks that. No. Exactly. So it's doubly insulting. Yeah, society does not help people with trauma at all. No. That's at all. Well, you can, you can talk to the VA <clears throat> about that one, too. Yeah. Oh, my. Let's. Uh, yeah, like, Brev, yeah. there's anything about the VA. Also, and I, I don't know if I um, if I told you this, but I have a, a thought about their, like, this um, counseling and therapy and shit uh, that they're going to. Yeah. I don't think that they sought out any kind of counseling or therapy or anything like that. I don't think it's therapy at all. I think it's counseling. I think that this is counseling. Yeah. That they are well, it's mandated the same thing, to kinda. go uh, to for the court, right? So the court said to get the kids back, you have to do so much counseling. And they set them up because Rev does not have Medicaid. And so he would have to pay for it. But if you're going through it court ordered, I'm sure that the court is paying for it. And then you're just paying like, you know, whatever fees they have to associate it with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I think is happening. Yeah. You're probably right. What a disgrace. We can't even take care of the guys that go and fight for us. Yeah. I mean, God. Are you kidding me? Yeah. They just they just don't care for no. people with trauma. And it's the worst kind of thing you could go through is like a significant amount of trauma because it's always in your head, and your body feels it too. 
Yeah. Oh, they're saying Red does have Medicaid? How does he have Medicaid? There's like... Physical... I'm not sure. I have heard that he does. I'm not sure how he would have got on it, but it's possible. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Logical things that happen when when someone who has PTSD or CPTSD. Oh, Diana, thank you so much. Uh, Diana said, hi, Carrie. I'm a major fan of your channel. You're awesome. Plus, you and your husband are adorable couple. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to say. I well, appreciate that. One of us is adorable and brings up the level of the other. I'll let you decide who. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's me. You'll see in my AI pictures. AI thinks I'm hot. <laughs> or any trauma-related disease. Uh, th they feel it. Physiologically, their heart rate races. Their blood pressure goes up. Uh, sometimes they get shakes from it. Okay. All physiological responses to trauma. Right. And this is what these drama communities target is, is up, people Kamal? who have trauma hey, in their life. Yeah. I texted you back yesterday, That's but exactly. I didn't get anything. Hope you're And right. it's the worst kind of evil I've ever seen. What's that? Kamal texted me yesterday and I texted him back, but then I didn't hear anything. So hoping he was all right. Yeah, I'm well, glad to see day. him here. Glad to see you here today, Kamal. Anyway. Target is is people who have trauma in their life. Yeah, that's definite. And it's the fancy May. Thank you for the super chat. You said hi, Carrie. A super chat and my views for you. Nothing for the lying, scamming, gruesome ones that we're watching. <laughs> Thank you, Fancy May, and I love, I love that. You. Yeah, I love that. So, so glad you are here. I appreciate ya. Worst kind of evil I've ever seen. Yeah. Because it's going after mm -hmm. those who are sick. And they never apologize for anything they do to people online. They never apologize. But they expect you to apologize for every little thing you do. And wow, the projection here is crazy. And that they're talking about everybody nobody else apologizes mm -hmm. and okay I, I, I think she's confused like i don't care i don't want her to apologize right I no. care less if she apologizes well, i want her to pay for what she did right it, it, wanting an apology yeah i don't think is what um the point is for for anybody the only, the pe person that uh, deserves an apology is your kids that's who exactly. you really need to apologize and do better for but you won't and that's clear and it's really sad they've already like justified that in their head like they mm -hmm. think that Rev's 13 days in jail he's paid his debt to society um they're already saying that you know they had to tell the kid 30 times so you know, if you had, yeah. had to tell him 30 times, it wouldn't happen. Like, they're off their fucking rockers with that shit. Oh, Aaron, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thanks, Aaron. Love that. You guys are so sweet. You're good, Kamal. I, I knew you had stuff come up. I just didn't, you know, I was a little worried about you. You know what? I'm not apologizing for anything anymore. Well, you don't do anything. Yeah, I literally just sit here and talk. About people. Yeah. And I get called all these horrible things like child abuser. First of all, I was never charged for child abuse no. ever. Mm -mm. Ever. What do you mean charged? Maybe not uh, criminally, but the reason that you don't have custody of your kids is because you abuse them. Neglect Period. is abuse. Neglect is abuse. Sitting there and allowing someone else to physically abuse them, that's abuse. On you. Not just the other person. On you. Because you're the one who's responsible for, for them. Those are your children. Um, and people want to say... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Perpetual entropy. Thank you so much for the super chat. You said trauma in her life. I think she means drama. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. And yes, she's got the at, at the very least there's a lot more drama than there is trauma. I don't want to try to um 
say that she has no trauma because obviously I don't know that and I'm not trying to shame her or whatever for that. But the problem I have is just her using that as an excuse to act however she wants. You know what I mean? That's 100%. where the problem is. But thank you again, Perpetual Entropy, for the super chat. I appreciate you. But people bring up a lot of, like, I don't know if you've, I've tried to read some of the comments sometimes, and people bring up a lot of good points about um, trauma and how people typically react to it and stuff. And it's not her. Right. Ever? Not once. Ever? No one's ever seen me abusive ever well that's just no. not true no no we <laughs> did see it mm. we did see it from the car trip where you're calling when reps calling him all kinds of names and threatening him we've seen the video the the street the footage of your apartment and the condition that you got you had those children and your pets living in what do you mean we haven't seen it we have you put it out begs there to differ. like she just acts like she doesn't live in the same reality as us. Yep. So that's totally a lie. I don't have that over my head. To say I do is a lie, actually. No, they if they're going to address it correctly, okay, okay, they can say that about me at this point. Because they, the, the, I got written up, so to speak, for that. Written so if you up. Say like written, a fuck written up. Dude. Wow, God, it's so frustrating. Um, Bruce, thank you so much for the super chat. You said it took me two bus transfers to try to find Shani's good side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Bruce. That was a good <laughs> one. Um, Amorose Moon, I have shown that before. I don't know off the top of my head where it is but i do know what you're talking about where she um she's muted but the video is still on and you can literally see her say some oh, horrible yeah, shit to her kid yeah she definitely there's definitely abuse and everybody can see it shani quit putting your shit out there and then you wouldn't have to worry about it but you do you keep putting stuff out there and that keeps giving people more and more proof of just how horrible you are as a parent and exactly the kind of abuse that a hundred percent went on under your care. Man. Rev did this and that, which you do all the time. Fine. That's fair. I have to take that because what happened happened. But Shani But see they had never nothing to do they with never look into the mental aspect of it that your mental health was really bad right, at that time. Right, but still it happened. Say it did it, so it did but it, that's no excuse though at the same time to go after someone if they did something in their personal life that's true but that happens with god this pisses me off so this is going to be another one of these streams where you're just going to be on here uh justifying trying to justify him literally physically assaulting your child yeah like, do you watch these back, Shani? Do you ever look back and listen to the shit that comes out of your mouth? She must because not. I, 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 like, you're not stupid. Are, but are you just that narcissistic that you really cannot see how you come across and the things that you're saying and how wrong they are? It's just like, you're making all these excuses for some, someone who hurt your kid, your own flesh and blood. How? Uh-oh. It kicked him. What happened? Uh-oh. Michael disappeared. He'll come back. You guys can still hear me, right? Hmm. I don't know what happened to him. But he'll get it figured out. Anyway, let's just continue to uh, watch this for the time being. But Shani but see, they had never, nothing to do They with never it. look into the mental aspect of it that your mental health was really bad right, at that time. Right, but still it happened. It say, did. So It did. But it, that's no excuse, though, at the same time to go after someone if they did something in their personal life. That's true. But that happens with Hollywood stars. Yeah, and it's, it's wrong when they do it, too. I think it is. Yeah, 
but but it's a thing. It know? is. It's... It is a thing. Oh, there he is. You're back. What, what happened? You... I don't know. You were mid sentence and it just boop. So when I start getting attention, you're like, he's out of here. Yeah, that's it. What were you saying? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. If it comes back to you, let me know. Will do. Like, stop getting into people's lives that you don't know because you don't like what they did. Mm -hmm. Who's trying to get in that's your life, That's evil. It's something in their personal life. That's true. But that happens with Hollywood stars. Yeah. And wait, wait, wrong. wait, 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 wait. Let me go back Are some. Fucking serious. Yeah. Let me go back some. I got to hear that again. They, they never, to do they it. never look into the mental aspect of it. That your mental health was really bad right, at that time, right? But still, it happened. It Say did. It. So it did. But it, that's no excuse, though. At the same time, to go after someone if they did something in their personal life. That's true. But that happens with Hollywood stars. Yeah, and it's, it's wrong true. when they do it too. I think it is. Yeah, but but it's a thing. It no, is. It is a thing. Like stop getting into people's lives that you don't know because you don't like what they did mm -hmm. that's evil yeah. that's evil that's you looking for trouble yeah and it makes a person that's living their life never be able to get over something that happened in their yeah, life yeah you're yeah. stopping people from healing from trauma and bad yeah. things in their life yeah you were traumatized when i go to idiot. see my son right mm -hmm. for something that happened in their yeah, life. you're stopping yeah. people from healing from trauma and bad yeah. things in their life. Yeah. Meanwhile, when I go to see my son, he hugs me and calls me daddy. Yeah. That's that's what's really happening. Like, yeah, Rev, th well, he's doing that, thing. right? But they're doing that because you technically, you guys are their parents. Of course, they're gonna feel that way about you. But also, like, they're not. He's not gonna s say to your face, "Oh, yeah." What you did was wrong. I mean, he's a ch uh, he's a child. Um, it doesn't. The fact that he comes in, call, hugs you, and calls you daddy proves nothing as far as whether or not you are abusive to him. It proves nothing because even when children are being abused, they do still they still love their parents. Right. So. Quit trying to justify and qu why don't you just quit bringing them up and how they feel and all that anyway. Like it's you, you just use that. You guys want to use it as a way to, um, you know, look better and it's all selfish. It's not because you care about them or whatever. It's just to try to further this narrative that you're trying to push, which is just flat out false and not true. Um, Bruce, thank you so much for the super chat. You said, to be fair, Rev and Shani are concerned about the mothership that is right outside our atmosphere, so they have a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, just like, what was it, yesterday or the day before that they were talking about aliens and how um, there's actual, I guess, I don't know if NASA is the one who said it supposedly or whatever, but that they've come out with that we're, there's definitely stuff out there that we're about to like, it's just, oh God, she believes anything she sees. They are something else. Like, I, I don't understand. The family got over it. Yeah. But they can't get over it. Right. What is <laughs> what do you what do you mean the family got over it? You're you're not over it. Your kids are still in foster care. But they're over it. You might be over it, but nobody else is. Like I, I just I can't believe she'll say stuff like this. And all I can say is I truly, truly hope and pray her kids never watch this shit and see this. Yeah, because she she has said before in the past that they have watched her stuff before or they do watch her stuff. And I'm just like, there's so many different reasons why that would be fucked up. But at this point, the biggest one would be because of the shit that she says about them defending Rev in the shit that he did. I just can't even imagine as a child how that would make me feel if my parent was doing that. Yep. It's got to hurt really bad, and it's got to be affecting them a lot. And thank goodness they're somewhere now where they're safe and they have access to the help 
that they need because therapy and things like this, they definitely are going to need to work through all the stuff that she and Rev have put them through. It's our personal life. Yeah. It's what so happens why, to us. So we're decided as a family collectively through CPS, to through, through a bunch of people guys, to yeah. forgive you and bring you back in our family. And they don't fucking like that. That's, That's none of their fucking business at all. Quit yeah. making it everybody's that's business. That's a huge life decision. And that's all the kids were taking. That is totally. Said. Right. Now that story changes again. Shocker. Ugh. Back in our family. And they don't fucking like that. That's, that's none of their fucking business. At all. Yeah. That's a huge life decision. That is totally in the purview of the people living their life. Not anybody else. Period. Exactly. And I was taught in my family to forgive people. Yes, and so you and you taught oh that to God. Zachary and, and William. You yes. Taught, you taught forgiveness. I taught people forgiveness. Nowadays, forgiveness looks like you're a horrible person for forgiving someone. That's what it is. What? When it actually is a very honorable, in, integral position. Yeah, and the one person that does the videos... Yeah. The problem is, Shani, the only person you seem to want to forgive is yourself and him. You don't forgive anyone else in your life. You haven't for you never forgave your parents and your siblings. You you've never forgiven drag and all these different people on the internet that you have these. She's talking about she learned with. forgiveness in her house though, but she blamed her parents until they died. For, for everything. And it's always, it's so easy to preach forgiveness and wanting forgiveness when you're the person that's in the wrong. Oh, yeah. It, it's like, when you, how about this, Shani? When you guys stop the shit that you're doing constantly on a daily basis, we'll stop saying stuff about it. Until then, don't complain. But it's also crazy that, I mean, literally... You were talking about her going through cycles, like, because last week she was saying, you know, I don't care. People can say whatever. I'm about chill and love and bullshit. Now she's back on this side. Like, mm -hmm. she goes, she is so oh, up and yeah. down. It's insane. Yeah. She goes back and forth quick. You know, snipes us and stuff is supposed to be a Christian. Is she not? Yeah. Wait, Position. What? Yeah. And the one person that does the videos it actually is a very honorable and in, integral position. Yeah, and the one person that does the videos and, you know, snipes us and stuff is supposed to be a Christian. Is she not? Are they talking yeah. about me? Do you know it? Yeah, I'm God. pretty sure she is. It says in the Bible to speak evil of no man, but you speak evil of, of someone every day and target them. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Listen. You let... haven't brought me up in your streams. You literally did a fundraiser asking for money, people to donate money to make me rage. Is that Christianly, Shani? Is in Rev? Is that Christian like? Like you fucking they, swamp demons. You guys worry about your eternal soul. Let us worry about ours. Right. She. What she's saying here is, oh, well, you're a Christian, so you have to let me get away with anything I want to do. No, that's not how that works, Shani. Right. You don't know whether or not I've forgiven you or not. Because you don't know what's in my head and my heart. Just because I talk about you and point out the things that you doesn't that that doesn't mean i don't forget you can forgive someone and not want anything to do with them you can forgive someone and still point out the ways that they are doing shit that is messed up and wrong like it's so frustrating that's not christian and they never follow their own rules it's like i can see you mary jane you're you're visible um uh all right, my lost my train of thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is. It says in the Bible to speak evil of no man, but you speak evil of of someone every day and target them. Yeah, that's not Christian behavior. That's not Christian at all. That's not what what a believer should be doing. Mm -mm. Rev is kicking a kid in the head. Christian is that behavior that's becoming of a Christian? 
is begging for money for drugs and calling it medicine. Is that Christian? He's talking about your sex life. He's coming on here talking about your squirting, making a porn, fucking talking about your dick size, uh, talking about having a fucking orgasm while you're shitting. Um, I mean, what the fuck, dude? Like these and people. The, the main thing that they do too is lie, lie and lie and lie and lie, and that's a sin, guys. When what? So that doesn't apply to you either. Being lazy and wanting people to pay for you to live, basically. Squatting at your uncle's house. Um, I mean, come on, man. Like, the list goes on. Oh, yeah. We could be on. here for days pointing out things like that. So, yeah, Shani. It's, nobody's trying to come at you like that. But when you say things like, if you want to start pointing the fingers at other people, you cannot be surprised when people call you out on it. But also, she she somehow thinks that forgiveness means, um, okay, well, if you forgive what Do I've done. Do whatever you want. Mm. Right. And that means that, you know, people will just overlook all your other bullshit. That's not how it works. Like, right. Because, and who, like, it is not us to forgive you. Like, I don't, I can't forgive you for Jason beating your kid. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's, that's between them. Um, I don't have anything to forgive you for. But what I am going to do is make sure that people know that you're a fucking scam artist. That yeah. you're full of shit, that you both need to be working, that you're fucking weights on the society that definitely need to be punished for what you've done. I mean, that's right. Lying about forgiveness cancer. Or not. Mm, yeah. It's definitely you shouldn't be talking ill about someone. You should be trying to lift them up and edify them. Where are your fruit of the spirits? Where's <laughs> yours? Man. Your fruit of the spirits sounds like at what Jesus explained Satan's was. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have more attributes to Edifying Satan than you de definitely show about Christ. Yeah. Definitely. Again, let them worry about their salvation. Let us worry about ours. Because, see, you could say somehow, I'm a horrible person, but say, I don't go after people. It Honestly, whatever they say, it just somehow it makes me want to do the opposite. Even though... They even if they make a good point, it somehow makes me want to do the opposite. So, yeah, definitely. Cause see, you could say I'm a horrible person, but I don't go after people. <laughs> I don't. No. Right. There's times where I find people, and I'm like, "Wow, you're bullied too." And yeah, I'm gonna put an issue to it. I'm going to point it out to people. Heck yeah, I am. That's the purpose of this channel. Well, that's the purpose of my that's, channel. Right. Like, we find somebody scamming, we're going to call it out. Heck yeah, I am. That's the purpose. Right. Like, what the fuck is she talking right. about? It's, she so it's okay can't for see you it. to do it. Right. She can't see it in herself. Right. You could say I'm a horrible person, but I don't go after people. As you're going I after don't. someone. I don't. No. There's times where I find... Well, it's just like the other night Rev made that video directed at me saying that I'm stealing from them by showing their content um, on my channel and whatever. Then proceeded to the next day... Was it the next day or the day after that? Within the next couple of days. What do they do? They come on here and do a stream reacting to videos from a another YouTuber. So they're doing exactly the same thing. Like, it's okay for them to do it, but it's not okay for anyone else to do it to them. It's the story of their life. People, and I'm like, wow, you're bullied too? And yeah, I'm going to put an issue to it. I'm going to point it out to people. Heck yeah, I am. That's the Heck purpose yeah, of this channel. It always has been to point it out. That bullying ruins lives. And to think that grown adults are doing this and their parents, most of them, makes me sick because they're teaching their children to engage in these type of behaviors, too. Oh, my God. You're goddamn right. right. You are goddamn You think it would be appropriate right. if your, your child did the type of behavior? What? Call out somebody fucking scamming, pretending they have fucking What now? Cancer. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear she what said, you said. She said that it makes her sick that we're parents and teaching our kids this behavior. Right. And I said, what behavior? Yeah. yeah. What behaviors are you teaching your children, Shani? I'll teach them that if somebody's faking to have cancer, that you 
call them a liar and let everybody know. That's that's what I'll teach you. You're teaching your children to live in complete filth and squalor. You're showing them that, you know. You don't have to a, be accountable to, for your actions. That you can if you sit don't all do day and all night doing nothing. Right. You don't have to get a job that other people will pay your way. Um, that no matter how fucking horrible of a person you are, there is no bottom. That you can just fuck around, fuck around, do nothing, have no goals, and, and you you will always survive. Like you're teaching them the fucking to do the bare minimum, and not even that. When the state gets involved and the kids are gone, you are somehow uh, normalizing that. You are saying we're still close. My son still loves me. We still have a relationship. They live with other people. Right. That is they, literally, insane. literally, you cannot be trusted. With the care of your children, when you're alone, like you can't, you can't be alone with your kids. Like, do, you, but you want to get on here and lecture people and act like you're freaking mother of the year? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, they're teaching their children to engage in these type of behaviors too. That's right. That's right. You think it would Shut be appropriate if your your child did the type of behavior you did to some person at school because they didn't like them? What do you mean? Like, so we're teaching, like, you don't think that the violence that you two partake in, whether that was between the two of you, like, for instance, when you hit him and ended up going to jail, like, oh, my God. Oh, Sandra, thank you so much for the super chat. You said Betty said she taught the kids to lie for her. I believe that. I mean, that's it's that's how they what they've been raised in. It, they've been raised having to hide things from people, um, specifically CPS, because they've been in their life pretty much constantly. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. But thank you again, Sandra, for the super chat. Was I saying something else? I feel like I got um, off track there for a minute, but. That's what causes uh, yeah, school. Uh, wondering mm -hmm. if I was paying attention. I wasn't. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you're going after mentally ill people on purpose. On purpose. Yeah. Going after mentally ill people. Well, I didn't pick the mentally well, ill King part, but I'm going after on purpose. Hmm. What was that? I'll be right back, Gene. Really dumb. Because if you really... I'm... <laughs> like, you're going after mentally ill people on purpose. On purpose. Yeah. Going after mentally ill people. So what Brett Keen used to say, you guys are really dumb. Because if you really think, like, me or somebody else is crazy, why are you picking on us? <laughs> right? Why are you picking after the sick people, man? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Why do you pick on children? I mean, you're, you're bringing up... Good news, on... Jeans. What's that? Your boy got a promotion. That was my You did? Boss. Awesome. That's great, babe. Congratulations. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's party time. <laughs> time to celebrate. And what do you like? See, isn't that wonderful, Rev? If you got a job, you could experience wonderful things like getting a promotion. And now that I will, I'll go career, I can buy back my military time. So I'll basically be as if I have been working there for seven years. Really? Yeah. So it's like you get a, um, like at the, with the postal service, you get, it's like steps. So every year is a step. So every step you make a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Pretty yeah. Cool. Awesome, babe. I'm really happy. Thanks, really happy man. for you. That means more money for me to spend. No, no not a 204B. <laughs> um, that's like uh, our supervisors are 204Bs. Um, this is a PTF position. Awesome. All right. Let's see. Let me go back a little bit. So you can hear what you you didn't miss a whole lot, but let's see. used to say you guys are really dumb. People on purpose, 
on purpose. Yeah. Going after mentally ill people. Thank you guys. So what Brett Keen used to say, you guys are really dumb. Because if you really think like me or somebody else is crazy, why are you picking on us? <laughs> right? Why are you picking after the sick people, man? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Like, seriously, what's wrong with you? Why are you picking on sick people all the time? <laughs> Mandalorian said, does that mean... Uh, wait, where did he the, go? The mods get a raise, too? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yes, you do. Uh, it's a 50% raise. So, from zero to zero. Well, that sounds so mean. Why did you <laughs> <laughs> say it like that? Jesus. <laughs> So, oh, in all seriousness, shit. I really do appreciate you guys, uh, my mods and everything. You guys are great. You put in a lot of um, time, and I know that my channel would not be um, what it is without you guys, because I it would just be so, so chaotic. Um, so, thank you guys for that. I really appreciate you. Um. I'm not a cat said, why did Michael change the pick? Was it because of TJ and the hat comment? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it hurt his little feefees. No, that's actually the best one that I could find or even like the closest one. All these little things that Jeans gave me, like these AI apps and stuff, they make me a woman every time without fail. And so <laughs> I've had to go in there and like it'll ask for keywords. And I've had to put in words like a man, a lumberjack. Of like, I mean, fireman, like, like all these like masculine, uh, weightlifter, bodybuilder, all this shit to try to make it me a man, and even some of those were kind of scary. You really are hung up about these pictures. I thought the ones of you were like really <laughs> good though. I mean, it was you. Well, you don't have a lot of pictures like really right. That's true too. Upload, put in them. That's why I have you know because there was a lot of obviously as a photographer i've taken quite a few pictures of myself before so i had a lot to choose from to pop in there because that's how they that do you it didn't take pictures of me well you're in the ones of us together a lot but you don't you never wanted to be if i, I would have been trying to put a camera in your face you'd have been like get the fuck out of here i don't know why i've always had to hang up about that but also i think um, like our thing. house but our house burned down when i was 18 so everything from 18 before we never had we just never had those so yeah. basically all of like the family pictures and stuff started from there yeah yep that's what we need to do too one day is uh i don't know if why make, are you uh, hurting sick oh, people hold on make a slideshow that uh we can probably do something better than that but i would like to show like some pictures and things of us like uh, when we were kids and I think that would be uh, cute that people would probably um, get a kick out of seeing some of those. Yeah, I think well, so. What is up with that? You want to add more stress to their life? Is that, the, is, is that what it is? Than what they already have? You want to make people feel low? Is that what it is? Does it make you happy to pick on sick people? Like, I, I, I'd love to know the reason and why they do this over and over and over, forever, perpetually, without giving a person a rest to breathe or the mourn reason? their parents. You want to tell her the reason? What's that? She says she wants the reason of why you do this over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. I do it because I think they're bad people and shouldn't be able to get away with the bullshit. Should yeah. be able to get over. Like somehow it doesn't seem right to me that someone who lies about everything um, should be able to get a leg up. Like they're not having to work for anything. People are giving them handouts on a, on a predicate of a lie. Like she is, saying that she has cancer and then she wants to justify that somehow and say i'm not uh getting donations for cancer no shit dummy but you're right. saying i am a sick woman my husband is sick who's not your husband first right wife, and say yeah so we can't work so we need help mm -hmm. and but, they always I mean, they'll they'll say help you know we need help for our family they love to say that right too. 
when lie it's number two just your family's them. gone bitch like it's you and you know fucking dumbass number two yeah you know it would be interesting i would be uh and i mean i would totally be down to do this but wouldn't it be kind of cool to do a debate like me and you versus him and shanny like you debate him and i debate shanny that would be fun. debate over what over everything that goes down and their arguments that they have and then our arguments that we have as to why they're horrible people you know what i mean um i think that's interesting i think my idea would be more mma style like <laughs> i would be willing to well yeah that's easy for you to say but look who i would be against oh uh, well i mean i two, we could do two on one whatever they want to do <laughs> but i mean i'd be willing to pay like Say, I you know put them up wherever at a neutral location, pay for the venue, uh, pay for their um, transportation to get there, and I'll pay him five hundred dollars if he wins. So then he is like doing something to work. Well, for. are you out of your mind? I didn't I'm, mean all that. Good lord, you're getting really in depth with this <laughs> weirdo. Don't make my mind go <laughs> weird places. I won't say weird shit. <sighs> Dying like you guys didn't let me do. Oh my. Go back. What did you just say? Does it make you happy to pick on sick people? Like, I, I, I'd i love to know the reason and why they do this over and over and over. Forever, perpetually. Without giving a person a rest to breathe or mourn their parents dying like you guys didn't let me do. Wow. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. We should be ashamed. That we didn't let her die? Is that what she said? Yourselves. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Where did you hear that? Hold on. Go back. A person arrest to breathe or yeah. mourn their parents dying like you guys didn't let me do. Oh, mourn her parents dying. Okay, okay. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Sucking on that too. Uh, I can't see. You, know, you can keep things lighthearted, drink. but no, you go to the personal stuff and you act. The noises that she makes when she drinks and eats, like, just listen. Did you hear yep. it? Damn. Wow. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Ugh, so gross. You know, you could keep things lighthearted, but no, go you go to lunch. the personal. What? So, do you think they're going to be on for a while? I think I'm going to go get lunch. My stomach's growling. Okay, yeah, they'll be on for a while, I'm sure. You need candy? Mints, yes. All right. I'll be here for a second, but I'll tell you when I'm leaving. And then whatever food, like snacks or whatever you're going to get. I got you. All right. I'm See you back right in a second. little bit then. Oh. Right a second, but I'll tell you when. Oh stuff and you Almost act like it's the most the important thing ever about. and the person who has personal problems is the most awful human being that ever lived while at the same time supporting people who still are criminals and hurting people mm -hmm. like you're okay with people breaking into people's house and ransacking their house because you keep coming to me with that information all the time you're okay with that Nobody ransacked. The people who are involved. Nobody ransacked your house, Shani. Nobody Get broke the fuck in. out of here with that. In the actual breaking in. Got a clip saying something out of jest. Oh, you were joking when you said you could go. You think it's okay what they did? That didn't seem like a joke at all. I'd be willing to bet the cops. Honestly, I said what I said yes. as a test to see if um, people would show up. Oh my God! No, now he's, he's not. It wasn't a joke. It no, was a test. Oh my God! So they can even think it's okay. agree on what they were saying. Man, they're so stupid. Hey, what they did? No, honestly, I said what I said to, as a test to see if um, people would show up and do stuff, and they did. Yeah, they did. I, I really because I was suspecting the whole time, Janie, that we were there, that there was somebody messing around with us. Yeah. Do you not get though, Rev? That just what you just said proves at least uh, criminally or whatever, that they didn't break up or do anything right. wrong. they didn't do anything wrong. Since you did tell them to come in, that it was a test, that you're testing. 
doesn't really matter whether you're joking, testing, whatever. You fucking said it. And they contradicted one another. She said it was a joke. He said it was a test. They can't even get on the same page with that. Right. Yeah, there was. They were stealing our stuff. They stole our stuff. The guy caught them. Oh, my God. And and the guy literally said to me, it's really lucky that I wasn't strapped because I would have pulled it on. Yeah. That's what he said. And then you would have one dead dragoon. I... Because you decided to go pick on people you don't know online. You're so dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. So tough. To go after people you don't know. Yeah. And it's eventually going to catch up to you. Eventually you're going to get caught. There's so many people now that I know who have been targeted with severe harassment where it affects their lives. Miss Hussie. Uh, uh, Chrissa exposed. Uh, uh. A bunch of my friends that I ain't going to say their names, but they came to me in private. Yeah. Foodie Beauty, Amberlynn Reed, anyone. I could even say Ned's, too. You also targeted Ned's as well, even though he targets people, so he kind of deserves what he gets. Yeah, that's one. But you call CPS on him, trying to get his son taken away from him. Yeah. Because you don't like him. That's 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 fucking sick, man. Mm -hmm. You can talk crap about someone all day, but you can't take when someone comes back to you with it. So you call authorities on them like a fucking coward? A narc? A tattletale? <laughs> oh, my God. And it's usually not even... Is that what your your son is? Because he's the one that had to call the cops on Jason. A tattletale. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you guys quit doing fucked up shit, you wouldn't have to worry about people tattletaling on you true stuff that you bring to cps other than assumptions and accusations sure. so i know the person who called on it probably didn't tell the truth about him at all mm-hmm. at all so i feel bad for him there but he's still going after miss sussy and people who clearly said i don't want anything to do with you man leave me alone you know it is your responsibility as an adult when someone says i don't want anything to do with you leave me alone is to leave them alone. Yeah. That's what a true adult does, is when someone says, leave me alone, you leave them alone. You just don't continue over and over and then complain because they say something about it. <laughs> Who does she what do you expect someone like to just sit on their hands and be silent while you're constantly punching them proverbially? What? Who does she think is like actually trying to have something to do with her? Like she keeps saying, like, leave me alone. Like somehow doing this show and what, how bad of a person she is is like trying to get in her it like mess with her in her life like i don't know i don't get that yeah in the face what's that like the bully does that on on the schoolyard after they've like bullied stop the- hitting yourself stop hitting yeah. yourself stop hitting yourself Yeah, and then the kid balls up his fist and as hard as he can he punches the bully right in the face and then it's all oh, look at what you did to me you just punched me you see mrs uh smith oh you see what he did to me oh he hurt me so bad yeah. Ah! yeah and the kid didn't even feel it he doesn't but he's the bully and he's gonna now be the okay guy he's gonna be fine and the kid that he bullies every day pushing him around and calling him a f- the f word he gets stuff. expelled from school he's the one that gets expelled from school exactly while the teachers sit there and don't say anything about the kid being bullied. And that's YouTube. And that's YouTube, yes. That's YouTube. What? I don't understand. Like, they're using a reference. And, like, Rev is getting so detailed with this reference. And it's a schoolyard reference about YouTube. Like, come on, man. Like, get the fuck out of here. Right. As if he's God. not the one that bullied a fucking child. He balls up his hand so fast, he clasps it as if it were a hammer, and he slings it, slinging through the air, making a wind sound through the... Like, he's going a little too far. (laughs) Yep. Yep. You guys say this stuff is against your terms of service, and it's just allowed. It's just allowed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand these little big channels at all compared to, like, Cinnamon Toast Ken and the actual people that make YouTube money, which would you be one of them. Yeah, but he even says he doesn't even look at the hate comments anymore because you went after his wife. Oh, my God. You go after Mary? Are you kidding me? You went after Super Mary, man. What? Like, she'd be worshipped at my school. I know. Literally. I know. But they also, these same people, went after Marcia because she ended up with PewDiePie. Yeah. You're only- Hold on. I'm going to I drop something. I'm trying to grab it, but I'm going to let this play for a second, babe. Just <laughs> want you to know. <laughs> up, up, break them up. That's crazy. So shit. what did the girls do? 
they said goodbye to YouTube. Mm -hmm. They closed their YouTube down because they couldn't take a million, more than a million people telling them every day that the only reason why they're with their man is for money. Maybe, maybe it has nothing to do with money. Maybe it's because they're good looking and they yeah. make they they make them laugh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but you have to turn it into something because someone has money. You did the same thing to me and Jason. So dumb. That's really dumb. You know. All right. Without I'm back. thinking, oh well, they did. I miss anything? No. Okay. <laughs> did, they did, we're friends for years. We have the same beliefs, the same interests. Uh, we're totally compatible on everything like that, like music and and movies and all of that cool stuff that that couples do. We're what totally is the point in all this? That. And like, what is the point of this? Why are they doing this? And that shit is overrated because we're about as diametrically opposed as you can be. This is true. We are very, very much opposites. Yeah, we turned up being attracted to each other. We so. are very attracted to each other, and the heat is still going, baby. Yeah, still at five years. That's right. And going. Five years, and the heat five is years. still going. Yeah, it's good. So, call me in another 13 People need Rev. to stop thinking that their opinion is so significant that it needs to impact the lives of creators. Amen. Right. Say that again. Yes. It does need, thank you. It needs to be said again. People need to stop thinking that their own opinions are so important that they need to impact the lives of creators. That, exactly. should, I, I, that needs to be a meme on, on like, a, a, a and you need to repeat it to yourself every day. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, he's exactly. right now. The fans got to chill on the talent. You guys yeah. really do. And you're lucky that you haven't run off everybody. It's lucrative enough that we won't run, okay? Because this channel's making money already. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. You know? Amen. Praise not, God, you're an amazing not for long. They want to see you. They want not, not for long. For, and as they soon as got, YouTube figures it out, you're done. I know. Like, I don't understand why they think that. Anyway, I don't even want to get into that. I hear you. They want to hear you too. Whatever. That's cool too. You're like the shining star, and they want to <laughs> hear you. So they're not, they can't. The stop, shining really. star. They just keep the coming back and making channels star. that make money. And YouTube's like, yeah. We'll let you keep. I wish they'd protect you, though, and let you become Cinnamon Toast Camp. Well, I wish Drader would stop his fucking nonsense because Why? it's getting so ridiculous at this do. point. Yeah, we should bring Drader, yeah, at this point. Oh, it's so ridiculous. So, this is about Drader, okay. Well, I wish Drader would stop his fucking nonsense Why? because it's getting Why? so ridiculous at What's that? Mom approved haunt said, Carrie, I'm not here for animosity. But can you please explain why your mods made fun of my fiance for being autistic? I what? don't know who you are, mom of Ma what did it say? Mom approved haunts. Um, but I don't think that happened. What do you mean that they made fun of your fiance for being autistic? You're gonna have to explain that more because I have no idea what you're talking about. I think that they're probably here for animosity, but that's Virgo it. girl, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. Um, she's okay. I am the fiance of 21, so it's pro so it's probably 21 on a. Oh wait, uh, wait, where did it go? No one, uh, no one has ever said anything about your fiance being autistic. Nor trans. Uh, so you guys are getting a little too much with this. I mean, so now that you fit, now that you go in one lane and that fizzled out, now it's going this lane. Like, get the fuck out of here. And it, it's just like, come on. I mean, you tried to derail the stream earlier. Now you're back. Now you're trying to derail it again. How about this? If you can give me one shred of evidence that anyone put somebody down for being autistic or trans and i will hear you out and and if you actually have evidence of that or uh, then then uh, we will address it but until then stop with this stop trying to derail the chat i'm not going to keep you're going to end up getting blocked is the point um you have my email you know where i am on discord there's plenty of places that you can come and reach out to me that wouldn't involve you coming here and disrupting the entire stream so, um, Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. Super chat. You said the fear in their voice right now. Yeah, let me go back a little bit so we can hear that since we kind of got distracted here. <laughs> it's not a way to derail, I promise you. Are you fucking serious? 
like babe, babe, email babe, is everywhere, babe. but you do it's, it in public chat. They're Come doing on. it. They're doing it on purpose. So we there's no point in even trying to talk to this person. <clears throat> This point. Yeah, we should bring up Drader. Yeah, at this point. It's so ridiculous. I go and get checked out to see if I have breast cancer. It's still not done. I still got a lump in my breast. Right. That they're still modern. Yes. Modern? Yes. But to turn it into some kind of scam is so stupid. To go to my audience and be like, she didn't go to therapy is so dumb when it's like, I literally just got off the call. Yeah. They're immediately, I mean, you could, you get, yeah, you're done with therapy and then literally 10 minutes later, you're in a live stream and they're going, so how was the fake therapy? Are you kidding me? It was like an exact hour that passed. Yeah, exactly. From the time you stopped your live stream to the time you came back. It was an exact hour. Exactly. Their hour sessions. Exactly. Like, come on. It's stupidity. I know. Stop believe in people that have nothing to do with other people yeah and and they're constantly writing fan fiction about us in their minds <laughs> oh okay i got the good story fiction. that i can tell <laughs> i go on my channel and i tell the story and it'll become reality like if i have decided to go and sue drader a judge would see that stuff and it wouldn't be a it would be a quick case mm -hmm. to solve mm -hmm. right a really quick one let's no, do it, it talking about on your youtube oh my god well, it's open harassment that's what he's doing. It's open harassment. It's open harassment. If that was the case, then why has YouTube not taken their channel down? Right. So you're full of crap. Harassment. It's threatening. It's it's openly telling people to dox people. Yeah. Openly telling people to to commit crimes of false reporting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the truth. That's exactly what. It like is. holy crap. That's who you look up to is someone who's literally telling you to lie about someone and ruin their life purposely? Yeah. Are you insane? And to, 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 You're going to end up in jail with that person. Yeah. Because he's going to get caught. Maybe not with me, but with someone else, eventually he's going to get caught. And then what are you going to do? You're going to look like asses with eggs all over your face being like, <laughs> well, we didn't know. <laughs> with you should have known. Oh, God. They know. They know. You listen to one of his videos, you know. He what sounds is. so creepy he's, uh, he's and threatening mind. and 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 predatory. That's yeah. what I like the most about him. Yeah. He doesn't even speak in his real foot voice, and then you come and tell me I'm being a phony. <laughs> <laughs> what? Holy shit! <laughs> I know. I know. Um, mom approved haunts. You said that you sent an email to me, uh, with the proof or whatever that I, there is no email. So I don't know who you sent it to, but you didn't send it to me. Um, once again, my email is boardhousewifelife at gmail.com. So. Like, get over yourselves. Really, get over yourselves and your little feelings. And stop ruining people's lives because of your feelings. I mean, you wouldn't like it being done to you. But you think it's okay to do it to someone you don't know on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make you like Trump saying his DA's after you. It's like... The, the, see, he, this is why... He, he's got to change the subject because he knows the DA isn't after me. Obviously. Obviously, the DA yeah, obviously. isn't after me, so he changed the subject. Okay, I guess we'll do you know this uh, change.org and try to get a petition going because I, I can't prove that she did any of this stuff because the DA, you know, I can't prove she did any of this stuff, but I certainly am going <laughs> to allude to it over cherry picking what she said, clever cuts in, 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 in camp in video editing from like three and years making ago. and make it seem like I said wait 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 they're trying to say that there's video editing video editing quick cuts and three years ago bitch you guys were at the That's same place you're at now and it was the whole video try again let me go back and hear that so he changed the subject okay I guess we'll do this uh 
change.org and try to get a petition going because I mean, that's not change the I, subject. I can't that's prove two different subjects. Right. One is the DA for your cancer bullshit. The other is to get your ass off YouTube. Two different things. Prove that she did any of this stuff because the DA, you know, I can't prove she did any of this stuff, but I certainly am going <laughs> to allude to it over cherry picking what she said, clever cuts in, 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 in video editing from like three and years make ago. It, and make it seem like I said something that I didn't. Yeah. No, that's not how that went. It, it, in <laughs> 2019, there's a video of you saying, I don't have cancer. Oh my God, that's so incriminating, Shani. And there's like, one in 2022 and then saying, I get tested. right, then yes, there's probably one cancer. for a fucking month later where she's saying she does have cancer again. Keep playing dumb. Yeah. We have all the proof and receipts, Rev. And you guys know this, but you just say this anyway, I guess because you figure there's going to always be a couple of new people that are watching that might not know the backstory and might 100%. believe you. 100%. And, and will still donate to you. This is yes, this is for the people who are seeing it right now to think there are people out there to get me lying about me and stuff like that. That is absolutely what it's for. Mm hmm. Said again five years later. Yeah. Or, well, and it's still not over with. I yeah, still over, have that yeah. lump in my breast. Yeah. It's not, it's not cancer. It's not over, over, over. No. Oh it was my just really God. good news that they were saying, okay, holy shit, uh, biopsy now. Yeah, that it's was... not. It's not. They if they questioned at all if that was cancer, they would they be would doing it. something. They know what it is because you. They had you come in not once but twice to do a, a, a mammogram. They know that there's nothing to worry about. Quit trying to twist this shit. Like it's disgusting. But also, she was mm -hmm. saying that that shit that she has those lesions and shit. Was um, what type of uh, that taught that um, a rare it was a rare type of uh, breast cancer, whatever it was called. Um, and she was saying, I don't know how I can be faking this and showing pictures and shit. Then that shit comes out. It's a fungus. Like, come on, man. Yeah, that's not done. It's not over, over, over. No. It was just really good news that they weren't saying, okay, holy shit, Inflam on biopsy inflammatory now. Breast cancer. Yeah, that was good news. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't have good news. We can't have good news in the in the narrative at all. It's got to be all negative for No. Shit. So now he's making up this cancer fraud thing. I think people should report his fucking petition. That it's a fraud. Yeah, it's a fake petition. And it's, it, it, doing that actually makes your case... On defamation and yeah. libel slander, even better. Mm -hmm. Even better, because you're getting other people involved. Yeah. You better get a lawyer tomorrow then, Shani. But yeah. you won't, because you know it's not. You're so stupid. You don't even know how stupid you are. You're breaking all these laws, and you don't even know it. Because you think you're getting away with it. Let's get a cheap little freaking laugh out of people for views. It's so dumb. Yeah. It's so dumb. Major dumb. Major dumb dumb shit. Yeah. I don't know why it's allowed to continue. I don't. Because it's it's not like it's just one or two people. It's way more than that. Yeah, because it's true. Like exactly. I think, I think YouTube and they they always say we're doing things to enhance things for bullying and and stuff. And I guess there's small progress here and there, but something major should have been done when there was the. They need to look in the chat logs when someone reports and see yeah. if that person has been talking crap about that person and involved in harassment. Yeah. It's so easy for YouTube to look in the chat logs and see it. Of course. Well, they see everything. I mean, but you call it, you talk to someone from Google, they're like, well, that's the YouTube side, and we don't really deal with that. You have to get a specialized person to talk Did to. Did you report the channel? Yes, a thousand mm -hmm. times. Wait, so are you saying you're a tattletale in a narc? And that never does. <laughs> that's weird.
does anything. No, it doesn't. It does nothing. It doesn't. It does nothing. For whatever reason, that though the, these AI bots are so good. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. They literally joke and say we have a bunch of trained monkeys that are that are fixing things. Like when you get the 404 page. Right. You're telling me the truth. It's like we're doing nothing. Absolutely crap to help people. But I feel bad for the people engaging in this mentality at the same time. Yeah. Because it's like they're stuck in it. Yeah. And they don't know how to get out of that thought loop of getting them, getting them, getting them, getting them, getting them, getting them. We got to get them. We got to get them. We got to get one up over them. We got to get them. They're so evil. We got to get them. We got to get them. Only evil people think that you got to get someone. I'll just be honest. Yeah, it's 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 the the lion, and I don't mean Jesus. I mean I mean the bad guy uh, roaming around like a lion, seeing who he could devour. Yep, that's the exact behavior that they're engaging in, which is why it's even worse for Christians to do like this reaction stuff. Oh, they're going to be so judged so badly <clears throat> by Jesus doing this reaction stuff. It's rumors yeah. and gossip, dude. You're going to be in so much window? trouble with God over that. Mm -hmm. Into window. So much trouble with it's God over window. that. That's the truth. Shani, quit with the freaking getting in trouble with God. I'm so tired of hearing that. That's the like only thing she can say. And she thinks she speaks for God. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. Rev said the other day, he said, I'll say it on my, on his behalf. Jesus doesn't like this. Like, who fucking, like, that is the most narcissistic thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Like, he thinks that he can speak on behalf of God. Come on. Right. And that's what's so crazy is it's stuff like that, and they still don't get it. Like, yeah, they don't get how fucked up what that them saying something like that is. <sighs> Gossipers do not inherit the kingdom of God. No. Do you want to inherit the kingdom of God? You say you are, you believe in Christ. But you certainly don't act like it. Like, do you really want to inherit the kingdom of God? You got JPM, I can try for sure. You gotta what? stop with this gossip and ruin rumor mongering. Right. If you okay, really okay. truly believe in Jesus Christ, you would stop in the rumor and gossiping. Yeah. Paul Paul had a zero tolerance policy. Zero. Interesting. That type of stuff was not tolerated at all in his in were in the churches that he headed if, if somebody was slandering and stuff like that they were out to the christians engaging in this mentality you really need to look a little bit more in your faith yeah because your faith and your behavior are not together totally separate from each other you don't really love christ because your behavior says you don't love christ because if you, you truly loved christ Guess what? You would love me and Jason. Wow. And forgive us. Yeah. Because we've asked for forgiveness. We've said sorry. How many times? Yeah, for the stuff we've done. Yeah. We've Absolutely. apologized. We've repented. We've moved on. We've gone to therapy for it. Yeah. In therapy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what more do you want? Goofy ass. To go for us to go away. I mean, that's well, you know what? I, I exist. Less about you going Jason away, exists. But... Yeah. Suck it up. Yeah. Go to jail. Suck it up and be a person. Payback. And realize that people. all lives are precious. Yes. Yeah, and realize question, that when personal. Bobby Tuff, thank you for the super chat. You said it's always the same rinse and repeat BS with them. Uh. Play victim, scare tactics by using God. Shani, your life is documented in video format. C case closed. A hundred percent. Thank you so she much, Bobby Tubb. And Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. You said the narcissism is so sickening. It really is. It really is. It's oh, Even for a narcissist, it's over the top. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But thank you for the super chat, guys. Appreciate you. When, 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 when personal things happen that might be negative in your eyes, that doesn't mean that the person is forever in that mindset or forever uh, connected to that event. 
because things happen in life. They just do. And sometimes you do things that are out of your character. That just happens when you're when you're stressed or you're going through something. You can act differently. It's not Christian to hold grudges. <clears throat> no. It's not. It's not. It's not Christian. We are supposed to be quick to forgive when someone says, "I'm sorry, I repent," no. and we've said it several times. Yeah. But you need to keep the show going. That's what it is. You got to keep <laughs> the show must going. Be what it is. That's absolutely what it is. Got to be. No doubt about that. Oh shit! What's up? Okay, sorry. I gotta do something tomorrow. Okay, Hi, XX. All right. But uh, shout out to XX in the chat, and if one of the um mods could drop a link to her channel, that would be great. If um you're ever looking for a good place to find Shanny content archived. Definitely need to go check out XX Archives. Uh, lots, lots of love, lots of stuff there. So definitely go. And if you haven't, go su subscribe and give their channel some love. They deserve it. All right, so where was I? Oh, okay. <laughs> My brain. It, well, it's narcissistic abuse. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. These people have come on the internet and they, they feel like they have just, it's like an open field of fruit to pick of people to objectify and ostracize and abuse. And they're doing it to more and more people that is my problem is they're targeting more people who are sick yeah very sick cancer cancer patients yeah i mean i it's i can't imagine this stuff i just can't i would never do something like that that's what i'm saying I just, in, in even my worst enemy, the person I hated most in my life, I, I think... Like of, if Dragnaught came out and said he had cancer. Yeah. I would give him empathy. Yeah, of course. And be you. like, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, what would you do if you lied you about it? Yeah. If, if G-Man came out and said he had cancer, I'd be the same way. Of course. Yeah. If Carrie said she had cancer, I would be the same way. I definitely wouldn't be crazy <laughs> like you guys harassing them and being like, oh, you don't really have it. Well, how would you feel, though, if you found out I was lying about having cancer? Right. You're telling me you wouldn't call me out? That's the difference. You would. You call me out for a lot less than that, Shani. Let's be real. You love to bring up that I'm a bored housewife. Oh, I'm a dry drunk. Mm -hmm. Don't act like you don't fucking talk just as much shit as everybody else does. You need to prove to us you have it. You need to prove to us. You need to show us your medical papers. Insane. If you want attention or Never money for it. Like, what you makes you think you're so proof. entitled to that? The same reason it's you think insane. you're entitled to money, bitch. I mean, politicians keep their medical records private. You're not yes, a they do. Like, like, and they're public servants. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. We are what you would say just public figures. And yep. it's like you guys think that, yeah, you're not going to be getting my prostate exam, uh, you know, Ew. documents nope. when I get a prostate exam. Oh my God. You know if what I you mean? Say, you're not going to get have that prostate type of information. Cancer, you're, you're not privy to money? it. No. It's none of your business. It's, yeah. Oh my God. They're not getting what? it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to understand it. I mean, they're just not going to get it. Like, no one's saying that. Like, if this dumbass says, I have prostate cancer, and so I can't work, so please give me donations, then you're going to have to prove that. Because if that's if anyone could just say, um, I have say so-and-so ailment, so I can't work, I'm not going to show you that, I'm not going to prove anything, but that's the case, believe me, please, and give me money, uh, no one's going to buy that shit. And when it comes out that you're lying, people are going to call you out. That's how it works. Yep. Exactly how it works. Yeah. 
And if the especially the person keeps saying no, 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 leave me alone, I, you're literally in violation of the law at that point. What? Yeah, because that's literal harassment. Yeah. Go to the police. It is. My There's God. Just, you know, I'm not asking people to do to... nothing but just stop the behavior that is harming others. Right. I'm asking you to change for the better. I asking you to do things that are sinister or maniacal like these these reaction channels do. What? Go after their life, call people call the authorities on them. I don't do that. You just said I want you that to get Drader better. Be reported. You just I want you said that. Right. I mean she In just the same said street. people need to report him for saying that I'm lying about cancer. Like you cannot make this shit up. Mm-hmm after their life call people call the authorities on them i don't do that i want you to get better i want you to have a healthy mind not a mind where you're paranoid about people that you shouldn't be paranoid about yeah not a mind where you think that someone's doing something wrong when they're just literally just existing There's got to be a point where you tell yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I picking on this person? Why am I treating this person perpetually like crap for over 10 years? Why am I doing this? Have you ever asked yourself why you're engaging in this mentality? Because you've been Once, a have you a person uh, uh, perpetually. Uh, I know. I self-reflected. I'm like, I don't like this drama, how it's making me feel. It's really making me feel a little crazy here. Uh I think I need to stop it for my mental health. Okay. I evaluated it. Why don't you? You're angry. You're vicious. You're malicious. You don't think what you say to people. Yeah, if they saw their own chats in in a uh, the, uh, a normal mindset, they they would be like, "Why did I say something like that?" In a normal mindset, yeah, you'd feel really bad. They would. Yeah. You feel really bad about yourselves. No. They also feel like they're these, 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 uh, like monk warrior monks for for fighting evil, too. Yeah. Which is really weird because most of them are atheists. That's yeah, and, <laughs> and and morality is subjective to you guys. So it's like, yeah. why are you objectifying morality if it's subjective? Yeah. So it's not consistent. No, it's not consistent to your beliefs. Just like it's not consistent to Carrie's belief or Berto's belief or Jules' belief. What they do, people. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they love bomb you. Pretend that they're nice people, and then they talk crap behind their back, and then they scream it out of their same mouth. Bombing her. No, there was no love bombing, Shani. Prove, <laughs> prove that. Back that up. When was I love bombing you? The only thing I was ever doing was trying to, you know, support you in the sense of getting out of a bad relationship, right? And doing what Rev was best your for kid, your kids. And you're mm-hmm. saying you're going to be leaving. But when that didn't happen, you're gone, bitch. Mm-hmm. I believe in Jesus. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. Because if you believed in Jesus, you'd actually believe in his words. Yeah. And, and do his words. Or try to, at least. Well, I mean, when you when you engage in just open lying, it's just like, you know what you're saying isn't true and you're just doing it for propaganda. The sake. Bible is very clear when it says... Because you loved not the truth, and you loved the lie more than the truth, God turned you over to a mind of delusion. Mm -hmm. Your minds are delusional. Shani, the the only people that are delusional on here is you and Rev. Like, uh, the stuff that you are saying, like, all of it, all of it is the stuff that you do. Like you're, you constantly do this. You project and you try to uh, tell other people that they're doing something wrong when it's literally something you do yourself. Right. She's acting like they can't see it because their minds are this or that. When that, I mean, she can't see the bullshit she's doing. Like she's actually talking about herself. Right. And you loved the lie more than the truth. God turned you over to a mind of delusion. Mm-hmm. Your mind's are delusional because you're believing your thoughts as true instead of actually looking at facts and actually looking what the person is saying 
instead of cherry picking what they're saying, editing what they're saying, and turning it into something that it's not. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen, but yeah. Okay. Yep. And with all the deep fakes going on right now, I don't know how you could believe one single person right oh, now. Oh, so now it's a deep yeah. fake. About anything. <laughs> you can. It's nuts, guys. It's nuts. It really is. It is bonkers. And I hope one day you wake up and you realize I wasted my life doing this to other people who I don't know. Well, or does it have to happen? I hope you wake up and realize what you're doing to your kids. That you've wasted. I mean, they have probably at this point, if what we have heard is true, that they have been taken by CPS multiple times. They've probably spent more time away from her than with her. And that's a damn shame. Yep. That she is still coming on here talking about people talking shit about her instead of what can I do to get them back? Yeah. For, to you in order for you to realize how bad it is. Because you see these people doing it to us. What makes you think they're not going to do it to you mm -hmm. if you step out of line? Well, if you step out of line, they would. if you step out of line, they would, if, if I see someone else doing the things that you're doing, abusing children, lying about cancer, I will 100% call them out. Uh-oh, Michael got kicked again. I don't know why it keeps doing that to him. Weird. Melon's acting up today, I guess. Get hell because it happens. When they would instantly. When somebody comes out and says, I support you, they're immediately dogpiled and doxxed and everything. Yep. That's crazy, but that's what happens. Yep. Anyone who's out of line. And then you want to be with these people who, who, who act this way and engage in these criminal behaviors? Yeah, and give them money for it and everything. Like, you're enabling them to do this to other people. Yeah. I just want my show to be fun and lighthearted. I just want my shows to help what? people if they feel like they're going through a mental health crisis. Wow. That's what I want. You, that's what you want. So when you get on here and you're crying and throwing a little fit, like, Oh my God! Are you hearing this, woman? Yeah, hold on. I don't know what's wrong with the uh, camera thing. I'm gonna have to jump out and come back in. Oh, okay. My bad. I don't want and lighthearted. I just want my shows to. How is crying about cancer and begging for money every day? Like, how is that lighthearted? Explain that to me. I, honestly, most of what you do is not lighthearted, so. Help people if they feel like they're going through a mental health crisis. That's what I want. I don't want, to pe I don't want people to feel bad about who they are. Or, 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 and I certainly not going to hold someone's past against them, because that's just dumb. Right. But if you're continuing, if you're one of those people who continue to violate people's boundaries and violate their personal privacy. Yeah, I'm going to say something. I don't care because it's bull. Well, well, that goes both ways. Yeah, it's already illegal behavior. But but like because I've like talked to the cops a billion times about it and they're like, well, buddy, I like it's the Internet. We have to deal with it, too. Yeah, we deal with it every the day. The cops too. sympathize with us because they have to deal with it, too, because yeah. you guys harass cops online. Yeah. Well, so, well, let's Harassed not put that on, ops? but somebody does. Their type of people. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That, what? That, would be accurate. that type of mentality. That mentality, yeah. Definitely. True. Yeah. You're not Batman. Mm -mm. Stop acting like vigilantes. The law can take care of itself. Okay, if we do something wrong, we're going to end up locked up. And you did. Just like anybody else. Just yeah. like anyone else. Yeah. And you did get locked up. And you lost custody of your kids. Exactly. But if someone's not doing anything wrong, you leave are. them alone. Stop but trying to find something to get them in trouble with. Yeah. But you are doing something wrong, Shani. You're abusing your children. You're lying. You're grifting. You're telling people you have cancer to try to get 
donations or sympathy, you're doing something wrong. And that's why you're getting called out. Because it's ridiculous at this point. Well, it's even worse than that. It's not just like looking at somebody's behavior, waiting for them to do something. No, they, they create it. They, they create it, and they also go after people's family members. Yeah. And you want to associate with people who go after family members. Yeah. Okay, you're smart. Wow. Like that's Yeah, you want to enable, give money to, associate with people who talk to people's family members. If you go out of line to what they think they want out of you. And I mean, that, that is, that is perfect. Well, I don't know who she's talking about because I've never talked to any of her family members. I haven't tried to reach out to them. I haven't done anything like that. So don't, uh, can't accuse me of that shit because that ain't happened. Strangers doing it. Yeah. And there's precedent to say that that is absolutely stalking behavior. It is. To go to people's family members. It is. Like I said, you just... Oh, thank you so much, Linda. That was very kind of you. I appreciate that. And thanks for letting me know. You are awesome. Just look at Dra Drader's fucking page. Or Draven. doesn't matter. They're both the same type of person. You look at their fucking jail. And it's so easily provable that they're doing slander, slander and liable. Yeah. Without a doubt. All right. Hold on. Let's see. You there? You just got a... Uh cash out yeah i just she just uh told me oh cool yeah um yeah man this is uh they're getting a little crazy yeah one thing that i think is kind of telling though they know that them saying this is you're not going to stop doing what you're doing because them saying this so the only reason they can be doing it is to change the narrative to the people who might donate money to them yeah because they know that you're, you're not going to be like you know what Shani has a good point. I'm going to change my life. I'm I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm doing things different. They know that that's not realistic. Right. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. They're both the same type of person. You look oh, to what they think they want out of you. Stoney, you and said I mean, who is Draven? Is, is Perfect. I have a link for you, my friend. Yeah, give me one second, Stoney, and we'll um, drop some links for you to go check out strangers doing it yeah and there's precedent to say that that is absolutely stalking behavior it is to go to people's family members it is like i said you just look at draven drader's fucking page or draven doesn't matter they're both the same type of person you look at their fucking jail and it's so easily provable that they're doing slander slander and liable yeah without a doubt what part 100%. of what part of what drader is doing is slander and liable he's he's liable Mm. She is too stupid. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mandalorian. Mandalorian just um dropped a link for you, uh, Stony. But just be aware, this is it's a it's a deep rabbit hole that you're gonna fall down. <laughs> you may <laughs> never come out. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. There's none. You like should be ashamed of yourselves. For engaging in this mentality and then trying to pose that you're these wonderful good people you're not good Who's if you're going after pose? people if you want to see someone's destruction if you're laughing and making i have yet to see anybody that's trying to make like their life is perfect or anything like that that doesn't happen or at least not any in this community that so far that i've seen so i don't i mean i don't know and i think that that's kind of the thing like people know that there are people with legitimate struggles legitimate issues going through it who really need help and these two fucks are taking that yeah fun of people you are an awful piece of crap person you're no better than trump you're the same people as maga mm -hmm. what you're the same type of people as maga the same type of behavior they engage in Hard you engage in QAnon. without a doubt that's yeah like, Trump's people are trying so hard to get the jurors' names and addresses and everything right now. That's disgusting. That's what you guys do. You try so hard to get people's names, addresses, whatever you can, to try to contact them. Yeah, and then... And harass them and death threat them and, 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 and name call them yeah. and try to put them to a place where they feel really low. You think you're entitled to that type of behavior, to, to, to engage in someone in such a personal manner when you don't even know them? No one's entitled to do that. No, no one's entitled to do that. I am entitled to my freedom like everyone else in this country. Mm -hmm. I am entitled to my right of privacy. I am entitled to, to not be harassed. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. You're protected from that. You're supposed to be in this country. You're supposed to be protected from all of that. Oh, you know what? I just realized that um, they're obviously on their phone and the computer's turned off or something because you're not uh. hearing that quacking. And that's why it's faced uh, at the ceiling like that. And yeah, she had to, obviously when they were live earlier, she had to end it because of that. So, and we'll still go back and there's like five minutes left of that stream. So we'll go back and watch the end of that when this one's over if i have enough time depending on how long this lasts because i do have a stream tonight um on the podcast with tj and miss moon bear is going to be there tonight and i'm super duper excited about that so look at you trying to be smart and everything oh but they're smart. uh they just ended their stream 13 seconds ago okay cool then we might have time to get through it if i stop talking do you want me to go get lunch or do you want me to wait until this is over no yeah you can go ahead you sure yeah, it's up to you, but yeah, go ahead. It's 4.30, so you might want to go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. So Lunch, that... more like dinner. Yeah. Are you? I love my days off. Yeah, I know, babe. You don't get a lot of them. This is criminal yeah, behavior to was. do this type of stuff to people. It just is. Okay, whatever, whatever I did in my life, I paid for. Mm -hmm. No, you do. But yeah, I have to live perpetually feeling bad about it. No, I'm not going to perpetually feel bad over the mistakes I've made in my life. No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what a lot of people do when they make mistakes. Move on. Grow from it. Learn from it. Mm -hmm. Become better because of it. Um... <laughs> Yes, just a lurker. I will play the dancing video as well before we go. In fact, I would I venture to say now. that if that's the case, if she's going to do like she says with her mistakes, she does not have the mental illnesses she says she does. Because I know and I don't have near the mental issues that she, maybe you might have. And I replay my shit every fucking day. I can't let myself off the hook for anything. And she's talking about she has all this shit. She's just like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move past. I'm going. I'm getting better from it. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. It's time to move on. And grow as a person. And do good for your fellow man. It's time to do that. It's not time to keep putting people down because of their past. And holding it against them. It's very hard to get through to the, these type of people, though, because what you're dealing with <clears throat> is the people that went to high school that wanted to bully, but they couldn't do it because they weren't they didn't they didn't have the gumption to get up and do it in front of people. Mm -hmm. They wanted to. Those are the ones you're dealing with on the internet. Yep. That's not because Ned has said many cases I that he was bullied horribly as a kid. They're cow fucker in high school too. Yeah, I wasn't I was bullied a, in high school. No, I was a piece of shit. I was a bully. I. Was a piece I was of shit a, in high school. I was never a bully. Like I'm not saying I was a didn't have problems or uh things that I did wrong, but that wasn't one of them. Cowards in, in the long run, well, they're, they're all cowards. They're they're sympathetic characters in the beginning. Yeah, because they were picked on. Yeah, but they become what they hated. Yeah, they become the monsters that they were chasing. Yeah, that were chasing them. <laughs> so is that what happened when you kicked the kid in the head? You were right. You were taking what things that used to happen to you, and now you flip flopped and did it. Like the actual bullies, like they they go like, well, that's bullshit on the internet. I wouldn't do anything like that. That's stupid shit. The actual bullies are the ones going up to the kid and pushing them, and 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 you know, wet willies and and wedgies. That's the real bully. The real, the real bully, one. you know, the ones that kick they got it out in their life. life. Yep. So they don't have to do it on the internet. They're like, who the hell would do that on the internet? That's that's <laughs> true. And isn't that your whole justification for trolling the prostitutes? Because, oh, oh. because Rev's gotten trolled so much, so he wanted to troll someone else. See, that's your, that's your logic. That's the way you do things, Rev. So that's why you think that that's what other people do. But we're not all like you. We don't play the same fucking bullshit games that you do. Yep. They're bully light, but but man, they've gotten so good at it now that they can affect people's real life. 
So they're becoming Jesus. the actual bully that they wanted to be. What they is wanted she to be sucking bully. on? What is that Don't noise? Ask. Maybe it gives them some sense of control and power. That was her hitting the vape. Oh, shit. Did you hear that? Holy crap. Listen to that. So they're becoming the actual bully that they wanted to be. Let me start it from where she They're bully light. But, but man, they've gotten so good at it now that they can affect people's real life. So they're becoming the actual bully that they wanted to be. They wanted to be a bully. Maybe it gives them some sense of control and power over their lives. Yeah, because they're narcissists, too. Uh-huh. They have narcissistic personality disorder. I, most of them, I think. Probably. The ones that are hardcore definitely have that. But, like, casual reaction people There's have a sense again. of it must be almost an unhealthy She's sense trying to of get narcissism, every but last not drop out of it. that they'd have narcissistic personality disorder. But the really big people in, in the, this reaction thing, yeah, they're like, they're NPD. <coughs> I oh, say. and she's coughing now. So that definitely mm -hmm. is what that was. Unhealthy sense of narcissism. I was, I was a, a huge asshole in high school. I was bad, bad person. That so they have narcissistic personality disorder. But the really big people in, in the, this reaction thing, yeah, they're like, they're NPD, I would say. Yep. They're on that level. They have the disorder, you know? That's true. I think you're, true. Yeah, so you're agreeing with me and you're the great mind of psychology. So. Yeah. I mean, check what I, I say with you, you know? But it's like, they're just, they just don't stop. And it's like, no. guys, it's time to stop this junk. Literally, it's getting ridiculous at this point. Shit from five, six years ago. It's insane. It's ridiculous. It's <laughs> ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You can pick on people for the, the, the stuff that's ha that they've done or whatever, but... This this illness shaming it really needs to stop because that's it's next Jesus. level of, of evil. These people are already going through something horrible, absolutely horrible Sucking in their life. Thing. There's no Hard. need for anyone to come to them and say you're lying about this. So is that what this like? They're about to start begging for money for that because it sounds like she must have. They must be running out of Delta because she's hitting that thing hard, really hard illness that they're fighting and they don't want to die from right there, there's nothing lower i don't think i can think of anything lower no it's like going no. to saint jude's or something and, and they're laughing they at out, them they're laughing at the kids with yeah them. they probably do laugh at the saint jude commercials they may maybe laugh at the saint jude commercials yeah carrie drader draven drab do you laugh at the saint jude commercials nope i God. think you do it's so evil what the fuck is are you serious shani are you really trying to compare yourself or put yourself on bar with children that are at St. Jude's that have cancer? You're trying to insinuate that somehow that's comparative to what you're going through? Dude, this is... You God, are man. fuck. You're sick in the head, Shani. You really are. No... I don't laugh at children with cancer. I I don't even really laugh at you and and what you're doing. More I just call it out. It's not funny to me. It's disgusting. And now you're bringing St. Jude's and kids into it to try to argue your point that you don't have. It's you're ridiculous, Shani. Maybe Kurt, laugh Kurt at the Hatchell said hello from Tirana, Albania. I've actually been to Tirana, Albania. Hi, Kurt. That's one nice of the places we went you. on our way to Afghanistan. Awesome. Good commercials. Yeah. Carrie, Drader, Draven, Drab, do you laugh at the St. Jude commercials? God. I think you do. It's so evil, man. Or the Susan Coleman Foundation telethons and stuff like that they do. Do they laugh at these things? Does they she laugh? Do they laugh at the 5K marathons? Right. What? Exactly. Seeing the people in the wheelchairs and stuff. Uh, oh, they're no, just no, no. lazy. I'm glad you brought that up because in Dude, I didn't even think, like, this Olympics. is coming in her head. This is all popping into her head. I didn't even think that, like, when she said that 5K marathon, I wasn't even, I didn't even think, know where she was going. This is how fucking sick she is. Right. This is how she thinks and how her brain works. Yeah. Ours. And a 5K isn't a marathon. It's a 5K. A marathon is the distance, you dumb bitch.
type stuff all the time. They Did make, they? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Drag was one of them. I don't. I don't. No. I've seen, look. I was in a room with Drag not maybe twice in August, maybe twice at the most. Okay. Uh, so you don't know him very well either. No, I barely spoke. And to they him. act like they know everything about us. I know. And we've barely spoken to them. I know. There was one time I was in a room with Dragnaut and I gave my testimony. He's like, yeah, that was probably just your mental condition. And then you did that interview with him. Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to mess with G-Man. Yeah, and that was stupid on our part because mm -hmm. we wanted we were doing the same stupid mentality, had the same mentality as them. Yeah, we were in it. Yeah. 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 But we 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 grown from it and learned that this is not the way. No, and it's what they want. When, once you help them and engage, you're giving them all the views and the yeah, money. Yeah, exactly. And that's what it was about. It was about getting the views. And yeah. we didn't know it. We thought we were doing something right. Yeah, and we're streaming this, and we're going to make them money with this too. But you know, yep. that's the you know, this is what I've told myself about that. Exactly. You guys never learn from anything. Nope. Even your own points, you don't you don't get it. It's fucking. Hilarious. Yeah. And here's G-Man, the people who victimized him for so many years, he's yeah. contributing with. It's so dumb. It's like, G-Man, do you know how dumb you look? How much no. of a liar you He's you growing. The same he's getting thing. better. Like, get the fuck. Like, oh my God. But she does the same exact That's true. thing. All these people that have trashed her and continue to trash her for years, but she's chummy chummy with, her, with them when they're in her chat. Making mods so, and giving her money and shit. Yeah, but I think G Man is is uh, genuine with it. I think that, and I'm and I don't agree with the shit that G Man said. I think he was a pretty bad dude back in the day, but on it like doing it because he thought it was the Christian thing to do, whatever. But I think he actually is trying like to see the other side and see the error of his ways from back then. So right. Well, that's neither here nor there, really. To me, the point is, don't you're accusing other people of things that you do yourself and that's the main issue that i have with shane like sh it's just so much hypocrisy everything she says is shit she does herself yeah it's insane if you look to your audience members who actually care and go back the people who victimized him for so many years he's yeah. contributing with it's so dumb it's like g man do you know how dumb you look how much of a liar you look to your audience members who actually cared for you like, you had two friends that loved the fuck out of you, me and Jason, yeah. and you chose yeah. the people who- You loved his money. You loved what that he was willing yeah. to bend over backwards for you. You didn't love him. As soon as he wasn't able to give you what you wanted, he was horrible. He was, oh, he had given you a death wish. Like, get out of here. Yes, dude. What happened to that shit? Who aren't even real friends over us. I did love him. I did. Like, oh you chose people- who don't love you over the people who actually do really do love you. Yeah. But you wanted to engage in this stupid mentality and act stupid, stupid. and act ungodly. Bruce, thank you for the super chat. You said, I'm back from two work meetings and that fan has not moved an inch. And <laughs> neither have the two slobs. <laughs> you got a point, Bruce. Yeah, nothing, nothing changes. This is what you see from them 99% of the time. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat, Bruce. Well, it's really, really, really weird to me, too, because he created that Sowing and Reaping channel, and he said it was going to be a, like a ch kid's channel for Jesus. And then it became, like, just all Shanny of the Shanny hate. That's, be, that's crazy. Shanny but, hate, because I called him out for calling women the W word. Yeah. I don't like that word. I don't like women being called that. I don't like being called that. Women should not be shamed like that. Yes, and a Christian man should not be speaking that way. That's what you're trying to get through to him. Yeah, exactly. Why are you Why are you using those terms as a Christian man? Well, I know why. It's because he likes to listen to red pill guys. Yeah, but those <laughs> are the words of Pharisees. They are not the words of believers in Christ. Yeah. The words of judgment and, and condemnation. Yeah. Though, that's, that's not apparently. what Jesus did, man. Jesus no. welcomed everyone. Yeah, he was a friend to the woman of the night. Jesus was. You, on the other hand, you take one of Jesus' most beloved and you trash it. Yeah. Is that you? That's right. What? Is this supposed to be her, one of Jesus' most beloved? Wait, what? Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Yeah. The words of judgment and, and condemnation. Yeah. Though, that's, that's not what Jesus did, man. Jesus oh. welcomed everyone. Yeah, he was a friend to the woman of the night. Jesus was. You, on the other hand, you take one of Jesus' most beloved and you trash it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so she's Jesus' most beloved? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> must, must be.
Yes, Misty oh Rev God. did call me a cunt. He just called me a cunt again, like, a couple of days ago. He said, yeah, I was right about it. I had you pegged. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Real Christian guy. Stand-up guy. You should be ashamed of that, G-Man. You're not looking at the, 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 the people that you should have sympathy for and empathy for, and you're not giving sympathy and empathy for them. Instead, you trash them. Because you think you're perfect, and you're not. You're not. No way are you perfect. You like going after and hurting people and, and getting revenge when the Bible is specifically clear and says that I will avenge. God will avenge. Do not avenge. He tells us, do not avenge. Yeah, that's God's job. Yeah. So you're stealing God's job from him, G-Man. I mean, what do you think you're going to, you're going to have to talk to God on this on Judgment Day over you doing what God's supposed to be doing. But see, there's little things like that really, really, really just irked me. Like, for example, when, when he said that, that he had, uh, I don't even want to say what it was. It was it, uh, a bad letter to drag on it. Oh yeah, totally false. Yeah, not like like that's how that that's this that type of stuff that we could never be friends with him again because he yeah. just lied. Yeah, flat oh, lied. Why, flat that's, and the me. that's why they can't be friends with him again, right? Not because he doesn't want to have anything to do with your bitch ass. Not because they're not getting money out of them anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Need something up that he wrote. I'm sure he did it because he thinks about it so much. I know he talks about it. Yeah, he had a plan. To do what harm to someone. He told us this. He had a plan to harm the man. Okay? And then he tries to throw it back on me that 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 I, I had some kind of bad... Le I'm telling you that. You, you, you have cops come and search wherever you want to. You'll, you'll never find that. Because I never did it. I'm not that type of person. The stuff I write is, is, is well, it's a lot of prophecy it's, stuff. It's spiritual but, stuff. Yeah, it's spirit stuff. Yeah. That would never cross my cortex or whatever it is for writing in your brain and then hit the pen and pen. I no, I would never that. write something like that because I don't think like that, it, and neither do you. No, we're not like that. What? We don't fantasize about, my God, that's dark stuff. That's really messed up. Mm-hmm. That's really messed no, up. No, I don't want to think that way. That's that's what gets that's you... That's really dark. That's really messed up. Meanwhile, you're child abusers. It doesn't get much darker than that trouble thinking that way that type of thinking gets you in trouble with the law yeah because it eventually lead to your actions doing it that's why oh, you don't think bad exactly. evil stuff is because it will lead you to actions yeah exactly just like him threatening to hurt your kid over and over again led to him actually doing it how come you guys can't yeah. ever follow your own advice why can't you ever practice what you preach Ever. They don't see it. You know what I think about most of the day? Kitty cats. <gasps> and butterflies. And sparkles. And glitter. glitter. Good. That's Not the August. problem. Fucking and, and, weirdo. And how one right. Why aren't you thinking about getting a job? Bills. Taking care your of your kids, responsibilities. Your next meal. Like, you think about glitter and fucking rainbows and butterflies? Right. That, this, she needs help. What about... She what about like Jesus? It, I thought she, you oh know, you're this God. huge Christian, but you're thinking about that, and not, not God. Okay. Wonderful food is, and how wonderful sex is. <laughs> I, I think about those things, which is normal. I would say for a lot of people, you're living your life in the world, so enjoy it and not be evil. That's what Jesus said. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not living my life thinking about getting someone. I don't want to get anyone. You know why? And I'm proven that I'm not getting anyone because I'm not going after anyone. I don't want to go after anyone. What? That's not my mentality. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, but it's a lot of you's mentality. We got to get them. No, nah, no, nah, no! Nah, I want to edify you. I want you to get better. I want you to stop attacking people. I want you to be a good person again. Well, when you when yeah. you are able to get yourself and your life together, and you are able to be a good person, then maybe people will take you seriously and listen to what you have to say about their problems. But until then, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Janice. Damn, she is uh, sucking on that vape. I think it's, I, I really think it's about empty. And yeah, really there's think, not anything in it, and she's just like a And so, like, head. I wonder, I don't know how, I've never vaped, 
but I wonder if when you do it, like, is it, does it start heating up when you start sucking on it or do you have to I make think it? So. Heat so I wonder if they're just like sucking in a whole lot of hot well, air and that's what's making the them call. You press the button. And so, I don't know. Who knows? But I'm sure that they're going to ask for money for more. Man. It's like, just think about the human cost of what you're doing. Think about what, what, what you're putting another human being through. You know? Exactly. That's that's seriously where it's at. Like, think about what you're doing to them. All and if you, Mary. if you enjoy the thoughts of them suffering, then you're you're in well, you're in a category of people that you really need to start self reflecting. <coughs> Thank you, Jason. Because if you thought about this, you're thinking like a serial killer. Yeah. That's it, dude. You, <laughs> you have it. no. Wow. Idea, you have the same type of thinking dude. that serial killers have, so you, you have really no need to self reflect idea. and realize, oh my. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You said, did I hear them blame Zachary for getting abused? Sadly, yes, you did hear that. It was that. just kind of a uh, blame him on the sly. They said he, Jason had been telling him like 30 times to quit it. Right. It was that he was misbehaving and, and Jason lost his cool because the kid wouldn't listen to him. It wouldn't listen to what they were saying over and over again. And yeah, they made excuses basically saying it was uh because of zach how he was acting and then that and the um hit that rev was not in a good mental state and whatever so um but thank you for the super chat very good i appreciate that and perpetual entropy you said thinks about puppies and rainbows but not her kids exactly Didn't perpetual even entropy. Come up. exactly you got it nail on the head there that's what I was thinking it, exactly. So thank you for the super chat, guys. Oh, my God. I am. I need to stop. Yeah. Like, what I'm doing is, like, it's going to lead to bad stuff. Yeah, it is. But um, my question is, why did you guys never question this about yourselves? Why have you never evaluated this yourself about how your mentality is, is affecting others? Like, I shoot, I had you. to. I had to. I realized I was going down a dark path. Wait, did I miss something? I see a couple of people in the chat say, it say, say Carrie. Did I say something wrong or do something? or? Let's see. Lolly D said Carrie and uh, Kamal said Carrie. Did I ask it? I don't know. Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. Jason knows he was going down a dark path. And when we realized we were going a dark path, that's when we realized we need to change. Yeah. Oh, Bruce, thank you for the super chat. You said when Jason, <clears throat> sorry, when Jason and Shani self-reflect, they see Brad Pitt and J-Lo. <laughs> what is their therapist malfunction? The balloon needs to pop like really fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's Lord. That's who said going to play them. Holy shit. Yeah. They, um, and then they want to say that we're delusional. You're Meanwhile, right. they're saying that they're Brad Pitt and J Lo. So, but didn't you play a video the other day where she was saying something like, "I think my tummy's pretty flat." Yes, like she's been saying that lately. She has 180 degrees out from body dysphoria. She says she's got an hourglass figure. She said J Lo can play me because we both have big boobs and big butts. Right, that's what you see in the mirror. Come on. <laughs> um firefly thank you so much for the super chat you said just sending you guys a chat some love all thank you so much firefly love you you're a sweetheart um pretty sure that was for me oh my bad my bad took credit pretty when sure. it wasn't mine pretty sure. <laughs> called cps be like please i i i need to get my health straight jason needed to get his meds mental straight and they gave us the break that we needed to get our stuff straight so our children live a good life right wait go back because she is she doubling down on they call mental CPS? straight and let me see we need to change yeah called cps be like please i i i need to get my health straight jason needed to get his men's mental straight and they gave us the break that we needed to get our stuff straight wait so, so she's saying that they contacted right they're CBS. saying so i called cbs and said hey i'm in bad shape jason's mental health is in bad shape can you take our kids for a while so we can get that 
is the me, all right. dumbest thing I've ever let heard. Let me go. I'm, but let me. I went back. Well, let's say, listen to that again because oh my god. I realized I was going down a dark path. Jason knows he was going down a dark path. And when we realized we were going a dark path, that's when we realized we need a change. Yeah. Called CPS, be like, please, I, I, I need to get my health straight. Jason needed to get his men's mental straight. And they gave us the break that we needed to get our stuff straight. So our children live a good life. Right. Right. That's, that's, Man. cause that's how that works. Totally. Are you like, once again, Shani, you're calling us delusional. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Our family deserves to have a good life with healthy parents, mentally and physically. They don't deserve to be with parents who are stressed out because people will not stop their nonsense. Exactly, Kamal. And I Wait, could ask the same thing for Ned. Stress. Like, don't be stressed out again. because with healthy parents, mentally and physically. They don't deserve to be with parents who are stressed out because people will not stop their nonsense. They That's don't why. deserve to be with parents who are stressed out because people will not stop their nonsense. If it's stressing you out, Shani, to the point where you're not being able to do your job as a parent, that's when it's time to turn the computer off and step the fuck away from it. You cannot claim and blame all these different things when you always have the option to step away. And you can say it two ways. You can say that doing this for them is a hobby. And so if I was playing golf and golf was stressing me out to the point that I lost my kids, I would quit golfing. Or right. you can say it's their job. If I was doing a job, if working in the post office stressed me out to the point where I lost my kids, I'd quit the fucking job. No matter right. what it is, no matter which way you're going, you the quit kids that come thing. First. Right. I mean, they don't have that's not in their head. Mm-hmm. Nope. And I could ask the same thing for Negs. Is like, don't go after Negs. Give him a break. Stop going after him. You're making him highly defensive. Yeah, and tragic too. It's the same thing with Dave. Well, got... all of them have borderline personality disorder. There you go, man. And that's, so, that shows you why they go to tragic and, and Negs to, to mess with them. Yeah, but Neg, Negs and, and tragic, they haven't gotten the therapy they needed. The DBT, right? So they think they have to teach these people a lesson. Yeah. You don't have to teach anyone a lesson. Life will teach them. You don't have to go after anyone who you think is bad because life will teach them. It hasn't taught you. Karma will eventually catch up to them. It, it's, it's on its way, bitch. It is on its way. I think karma is that. You reap door. what you sow for the Christians. Yeah. Yeah, don't get all weirded out if you're Christian and you hear us reference karma. Okay, don't get weird. Okay, it's, okay it's literally guys. the same as you read the It's Christian. just mm. okay, <laughs> it's all right. You know, Lowell's Cal Productions, but it's all right. <laughs> a name in, in uh, Indian language, I'm not sure which Indian language it is. Very good, thank you for the super chat. You said Negs and Tragic can burn, hold on, can burn as can these two. I don't know a lot about Negs and Tragic, so I can't speak too much on them, but I will take your word for it. Thank you for the super chat. And then we've got one from Undead Pikachu Gaming that says, when did Shani get a parrot? <laughs> 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 um, I think it was like, what, four years, years ago? ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. But it is. Wait, I can't use my phone. <laughs> use the tablet yeah whatever. i'll figure it out <laughs> it's really a good easy google search to figure out which language karma comes from it's oh just, oh the word karma it's yeah a, yeah it's it's the it's, it's, indian language yeah i would think it is i yeah, don't know which one it is though because they have a bunch <laughs> bruce did a parrot with a carrot <laughs> <laughs> i love that so today, Marie, but you got to understand, funny. I'm the type of person who does like Buddhism. I do like Hinduism because I like the peaceful aspects of the religion. Same with the peaceful aspects of Islam. I like peace. 
In fact, one of my number one priorities in my life is peace. It's, I was going to say it's Sanskrit. It's Sanskrit. Yeah. Okay. I was I was going to say Sanskrit, but I didn't want to be stupid. Yeah. I, right. Exactly. Right. That's how you I were going to say it, and then yeah. you found that I it was. Gonna Sanskrit, said, I was gonna, yeah. yeah, I was going to say I do that a lot, too. Yeah. To make myself sound smart. But... It's Sanskrit. Yeah. Okay. I was I was going to say Sanskrit, but I didn't want to be stupid. Yeah. I right exactly. That's how I felt too. Yeah, I was gonna say Sanskrit though. Yeah, I was gonna say Sanskrit, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. It's a Sanskrit word. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so <laughs> karma is Sanskrit, yeah. but it's the pretty much the definition of it is you reap what you sow. Yeah. So yeah. lay off me over the karma stuff. Yeah, there might be more theological things that go into it with Buddhism. But lay off break. me, I'm starving. It's basically the same thing. Starving. Mm -hmm. If you put out bad, you're gonna get bad back. And vice second law of thermodynamics. Yeah, it's science too. But why don't like, they see that? Why don't <laughs> whatever they see you push, that you're going to get it put out bad, and that's what they are getting back. Right. They do not recognize that. They think people are just fucking with us. Not yep. this is what we've put in the world, and it's getting sent back to us. Right. They just want to preach karma and not like see it in their own life. It is bizarre. Yep. Equal or opposite or or, or uh, more reaction to it or whatever it is. Equal or equal and opposite reaction. An equal and opposite reaction. Thank you. Yes. Like I mean, you keep bugging people and they yell at you and then you're like, why are they bug? Why are they yelling at me? <laughs> or, yeah, I don't know why they're yelling at me. They do it all day though. Like, like, come on, <laughs> come on, stop villainizing people who you pick on yeah. because they finally. Firefly, thank you for the super chat. You said she still has custody of her youngest child, Rev. <laughs> no, true. she still has custody of her youngest child, Rev. <laughs> oh, that's... her oldest child. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Firefly. That went over my head at first. I was like, what? They usually do. Shut Not too up. quick on the uptake. You're so mean. They really say, screw off to you. Yeah. Come on. You can do better than that. You can find something a little bit better than that. That's called reaching. Yeah. And that's what a lot of you... L for Lamb, thank you for the super chat. You said, I just realized you're kicking butt with views. Thank you, L for Lamp. It's because of people like you. Oh, no, it's not. It's because I'm on here. But... Oh, okay. Whatever. Again... You're you're going a little too much with the joke. It's Whatever. not as funny when you say it every five seconds. Okay. Whatever. But thank you, Fire f or L for Lamp. L is for Lamp. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you and thank you all for being here. Thank you guys. Like I love you guys. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed, make sure you go and click the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you can join us every time we go live. And um if you like the stream, give it a like. It helps me, so I would appreciate it. What people do is you reach. They have to to make money. That's because that really is one of the big motivations. Is super. Gotta and stuff. It's got to be about money. It can't be yeah. about anything else. I triple dog dare Katie, Carrie, Drader, all the drama community channels to spend one week just focusing on themselves and not someone else, and see how your views are. <laughs> I bet your views will be super low. Well, yeah, if you're not putting content out, it's going to be low. What are you talking about? She means if we made videos about ourselves. Um, either way. Yeah, I'm not sure what uh, she she's after. People but it's, can't view non-content, but it's not about the views, Shani. That's what you're not understanding. It's I'm not doing this for the views. I'm doing this to expose you. And also, I think that they are like a lot of people maybe think the wrong thing about that. Most of the vi the videos you make are either copyright claimed or non monetizable. Like yeah. nothing is could be further from the, like none of that shit until recently when I started clipping out the copyrighted shit and doing stuff like that. Um, none of them are monetized. Like period. Right. It's just mm -hmm. they weren't. So they can take yeah. that shit somewhere else. Yeah. They have to to make money. That's because that really is one of the big motivations is super chats and stuff. Yeah. I triple dog dare Katie, Carrie, Drader, all the drama community channels to spend one week just focusing on themselves and not someone else and see how your views are. <laughs> I bet your views will be super low. 
Well, that's like the that's like the Charlie Gold test, you know. Mm-hmm. If she ain't talking about Chantal or Amber Lynn, well, the views aren't as good. Uh, not really. Yeah. Not really. It's, it's, and, and me, I want to strip that out of human consciousness. That need for drama. Yeah. That that need. Let me throw this to out there too, to, though. Then what if are people... you doing right now? Good this point. isn't drama. Go ahead. Right. She's talking about you to get views, but also if people just wanted to watch Shani. Shani's views would be at 400. Exactly. But people want to watch you watch Shani right, or you right. talk about Shani. Right. Ask like, yourself, that's Shani, what it like, is. why are you, if, if you're so, why aren't they giving you the views? The whole thing is, Shani, the reason that you get good views um, on my channel and everything is because people love to watch the train wreck. That's why I'm here for, for that matter. Right. Um, it, you, the stuff that you do, it's like mind blowing how dumb and ridiculous and delusional and fucked up that one that two people can be you literally just constantly put out content that is out of this world um messed up ridiculous and you're trying to con people but it's the craziest thing most computers you can open up multiple tabs and watch two things at once or you don't have to click on one thing. Like you are able to click on Shani instead of Jean's stream. Mm-hmm, it is mm-hmm. the craziest thing. I know you might not believe me. It's possible. Yeah. I try to feel better about yourself by seeing others put down. What is that? Like you'd feel a lot better if you edified people and picked people up. I guarantee it. It's a gr- better, much better, healthier thing to do. I do do that with other people. I do edify right. and bring other you. people up. I just don't do it with you. I mean, I don't know if you watch my content and stuff, but I'm shouting out other creators and, and things all the time, showing other creators uh, di- videos and streams and, 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 you know, spreading the word about them. It's I do do that, and so do they. So do the, the other channels. They just don't talk that way about you because you don't deserve it. You're a horrible person who continues to do horrible fucked up things and put it all out on the internet for everyone to see so here we are watching your train wreck like right. if you don't if you don't like that there is an easy fix yep Definitely. with your life is edifying people yeah, who you yeah. see are lower than you or have gone through stuff and giving them a hand and picking them up and then watching them grow yeah that is so cool to do the best like i got that with nadia like for real yeah man like getting that picture of her just smiling. I never saw her smile in my life. I don't think maybe a few times when she's laughing, but yeah, that's one thing you guys never give Jason credit for is he actually made and helped Nadia become the woman she is today. Praise God. He made her happy. Praise God. And thank you for that. Amen. I I, I saw. So if you if you want to if you want to say that Jason isn't an ally for the LGBT, well, he helped a trans woman change I, and transition. I stuck with her because I knew she was so depressed. That doesn't excuse He helped a trans woman transition. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't give him a, a write-off for any bad behavior after that. Yeah, no, one I is, mean, no one is doubting that or putting him down for that. It Just because somebody does a good thing doesn't mean they're not responsible for doing bad things. That is the craziest logic. You yeah. know, I heard, I heard Bill Cosby gave so much money to charity. I mean, yeah. millions of dollars to charity. But he was a piece of shit. Right. Like exactly. One cannot. Both can be true. Yeah. In in the long run, that's what it turned out to be. And praise God, I just praise God for it. Yeah, exactly. Because you helped her live. Yeah. She she's living. Yeah. She's just not existing anymore. She's living because someone gave her a hand and picked her up. Yeah. I I knew she needed it, and I just that's right. He 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 stopped a trans woman from killing herself. Oh my That's not god. what evil people do. She talked about it a lot. Oh my god. If I don't get rid of this thing, I don't want to live. That's literally. She had to in order to and that's live. Why, and that's yeah. why doctors are now recommending. Yeah. Surgery. That was that was a bad gender dysphoria she it's has. Horrible. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. To the point of not functioning. You know, it's really sick to use people and and these situations to try to like you know get the heat off of you or to make you like that's so fucking selfish and manipulative this is the equivalent to me with like when people when they were saying the n-word a lot and then people were saying they were racist and she was like i've had sex with so many black dudes like i can't be racist right like they're saying i can, i have to be an ally j l ally for lgbt 
Q, whatever, because I helped a trans woman. Like, this is that. Right. And it's sick. Yeah. Like, she needed it. And it's proven because New York doctors said, yep, you need it. <laughs> yep. And now she's living her best life. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm just really, really happy for her. You know? I would be like to Nadia if I saw her. I'd be like, can I? Can I see the JJ? <laughs> yeah. I want to know what they Oh, did. my God. God. Like, I'll be looking at it and be like, wow. Yeah, she's going to tell you everything medically. That's she... incredible. I love seeing transitions. Yeah, I, I, wow. That's some shocking footage. If, uh... Yeah, they got to do what they got to do. I love seeing transitions. Like... Oh, really? Sock account, by the way, sock account is somebody that has been around for a long time and knows a lot about the Shani and Rev um, situation. And they said, uh, for the record, he didn't help her. I was there. He was a drunk that would question her lifestyle choices. Who is it? Rev. No, but who's saying that? Sock account. Right, but who's sock account? That That's their name, sock account. Sock I know it's account. a sock account, but who is the... I'm joking, I'm joking. Michael, oh my God, I'm trying to get through this thing. It's five that was hilarious. That was fucking do. gold. Not really. <laughs> uh, Kara Cunningham, she is gorgeous. She's pretty, yeah. She is. Yeah. GG gorgeous. She's pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful girls. Good girl. Yeah. But see, people go against them because they were born with a dick. I swear, I do he, that. Lo- he really does love to annoy this shit out of me, doesn't he? <laughs> I know you guys see this. <laughs> Look, doc, no, I like Christians can't get away with this shit anymore because doctors recommend this stuff for people that have this condition. So they got to just stop with it. It's not an evil agenda to get your kids to turn anyway. It's they're trying to live their lives, dude. They're trying to feel better about themselves because yes. they hate themselves. They can't what look they in were, the mirror, yeah. In what they were born as. Do you get that? Like, do you get that? Like, how horror? Just imagine you wake up every morning and you feel like you were born in the wrong body. Thank you. That's yes. torture. Every time Hillbilly Jim guy would go in Nadia's room and call Nadia a he and stuff, I say, Jim, wait a minute. Think, put yourself in her shoes. Exactly. When I met Nadia, I thought she was a female. I didn't. I had no idea she was so trans. Did I. So did I. I thought she was cute, man. Yeah. When I first saw her in a room and she was all alone in a room, like Indian style, just sitting there. I'm like, you're pretty. And then it comes up on the bottom, transsexual. I'm like, really? Yeah. Wow. You're pretty. She is. <laughs> that very was the pretty. first time I looked at a trans person and said, "Wow, they're pretty." And then people will make what? stuff of that and say that I wanted wow. to be with her, and that's why I was no. I'm not into transsexual people. That's just me. I'm not against it at all, obviously, but I'm just not. I I I like. I like you, honey. We're very much allies of oh the LGBT. Yeah, totally. I'm bisexual yeah, for Shani, one. Shani's bi too. Like, and my son is is gay. Yeah, and I'm fine with it We're as a Christian. Re- Leave your son's sexuality out of the public eye, please. For the love of God, can he have his own life and his own privacy and talk about his sexuality when he is ready? He's a fucking minor, for God's sake. It's nobody else's business, Shani. And you continually think, bring that up. If they think they're as famous as they are, like, she is taking this from him. She is taking him being able to do it how he wants. Right. Taking that away from him. Right. Exactly. It's disgusting. He deserves better. A lot better. I'm fine with it. We're a rainbow flag family. Ooh! Without a doubt, we are. We need to get a rainbow flag out for support. Yeah, we should. Absolutely, yeah. I want to go to Pride. So bad I want to go to Pride. (laughs) Jason's like, I want to see you a little naughty. I'm like, well, you're going to have to take me to Pride. If that's what it takes, hell yeah, okay. I'm down then. I'll make out with a girl. That's fine. Oh my God. It was like Mardi Gras. I bet you you would, but I don't think they would. Aww. You guys, aren't these just the loveliest, most modest little Christians that you've ever seen? I mean, my goodness. Aren't they? Yeah. It takes hell yeah, okay. I'm down then. I'll make out with a girl. That's Sweet. fine. Oh my god, with like Mardi Gras beads on it. There side. you go. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, get it on tape if you need it. Hey, well, it could be it could be a little private stash or something. Thank you, Justin Lurker. <laughs> There's a little bit too much carry in that sentence, but I'll take it. Can you imagine like banking out with Shani with all those teeth missing and then like you know doing anything sexual with her when she brags about having freaking hemorrhoids and shit all the time like 
Keep girl, talking. Keep nobody talking. Nobody wants. Nobody wants that. I'm. I hate to tell you. Like, you're lucky that that you got a man that that does want that because most people, yeah. Um, Say it in a huskier voice, and then do the Ursula laugh. Boy, don't you have somewhere to go? <laughs> I thought you were going to get lunch. I know. I could. I couldn't. Please, I'm starving. I'm starving. Can you please go get it? Yeah. I have stash when I need it, you know. That was a jo- I, I was joking. I was trying to be funny at the end, but you didn't get it. If oh, I'm you go on a too. trip and I'm alone yeah. and, you know, yeah, private stash, yeah. And I won't revenge pee you. I would never do that no. you, ever. ever. Hi, watermelon baby goes. I would. You wouldn't have to revenge porn her. You guys, your stuff is already all out there that you put out yourself. Unless maybe they have more stuff that they haven't shared. In which case, please, for the love of God, God, do not share it. Burn it. I wouldn't care either, but... (laughs) Because, frankly, I have no shame in my game. We know. You should. I'm just saying I wouldn't do that. You really should. No, I have no shame over my body. None. It is what it is. It gave birth. It gave babies. Yes. It, it, it was an incredible machine. It lifted people up and yeah. helped them. It lifted a Durango. Oh, yeah, there's that too. It lifted a Durango. Is she serious? <laughs> it lifted a Durango. Wow. I mean, she does know that here? that is not physically possible, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. She thinks she's the Hulk, I guess. I don't know. It is what it is. It gave birth. It gave babies. It's- yes. It, it, it was an incredible machine. It lifted people up and yeah. helped them. It lifted a Durango. Yeah, there's that too. It lifted a Durango. That's 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 from all my body building. <laughs> what you did is absolutely amazing. So now she's a body and, and when it happened, people were talking about it like, wow, Shani, you're amazing. You're like Superwoman. Well, I knew I could do it because I saw other people do it when their adrenaline was pumping and my <laughs> adrenaline was pumping and I wanted to save my family, so I did it. And then you immediately had to go to the hospital. Yeah, you wanted to save your family, so you picked up the car and moved it. But meanwhile, when somebody is physically assaulting your kid and kicking him in the head, you do nothing. Man. But you want to brag? She thinks you lifted a car. But you want to brag? I don't care whether you lifted the car or didn't lift the car. You want to brag and talk all this shit about protecting your boys. You don't do shit to protect them. They need pro- They need protection from you. She'll put the effort in yeah, to sir, lift a car, so but not scared. the effort in to feed them. Or do you like breaking out in hives before girls? I know. I immediately had to go to the hospital. Yeah. That sucked. But but they took care of you. But... They did. Yeah. Thank you, Missouri. St. Louis, right? Yep. It was St. Louis. Or was it? That was St. Louis? It was St. Louis, yeah. yeah. Okay, St. Louis, Missouri, yeah. Yeah. What nice people. Yeah. The city is so beat up. God it is, God, man. They need some infrastructure spending. They do need infrastructure spending. I was driving like, in, you, you know what? If we didn't spend 90% what? of our budget on wars and killing people, we could actually fix our infrastructure. Yeah. And get in- everyone health care. Infrastructure? Healthcare. What is she and saying? And feed it. She keeps calling it infant structure. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. You said the adrenaline was there when she got the drugs in the mail. <laughs> yep. Yes, it was. She jumped up off that couch and ran, sprinted towards the door. And standing up for her is about like lifting a car. (laughs) God, you're mean. (laughs) Everyone, if we just took that 90% and turned it to maybe 40%. Yeah. Yeah. What should they spend on the defense budget this year? It's probably $1.4 trillion or something. I have no idea, but Kevin McCarthy is the most stupidest fucking house <laughs> speaker of the house I've ever seen. I don't even know what he like. About. He literally wants to end the cap of the debt ceiling. I... Like it's like, dude, you you complain about Democrats doing this for years, and it's like usually you guys doing it yeah. and bailing out bankers and crap. Now we're just gonna do away with the debt ceiling entirely. It's just unlimited credit card spending. What do you think is gonna happen to the value of the dollar? It's gonna drop. Bye. Bye bye. America just said we have unlimited credit. The currency is going to crash. Why don't they give all of us lo- uh, poor people unlimited credit? Why does the government <laughs> get it? I think exactly. Yeah, man, man. make it will. fair. Yeah. You need to at least be given your citizenship. What do you need unlimited credit for, McCarthy? Maybe he wants to go to socialism. He just gives us two thousand dollars a month to live on. Okay. That is true. Just Lurker said that uh, she wasn't gasping for air when she got back to the couch either. And that's yep. a good point. She wasn't. 
Whatever. It's more like what they're engaging in is fascism. Yeah. That that that's the core of yeah. Fucking fascists. Yeah, they want corporate influence and. In, in... I I'll be honest. I'd much rather have uh, communism or socialism than fascism. Fascism. Absolutely. Yeah. Corporatism will destroy everything. Yeah, it's all about greed and money, man. That's correct. There'll be no social programs. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Man. You can't yeah. find housing? Well, you better pick yourself up by your bootstraps because there ain't no housing authority anymore. That's true. They want and to I don't want to get... That's I don't want to get... Um, they would go to you. Whoa. Uh-oh. I don't want to get political. Never mind. No, yeah, don't get political. Um, on a side note, I just saw that um, Kim Kardashian has been uh, cast in the next American horse, horse, Horror Story um, season. Wow. Mm-hmm. Some people the American, are not happy about it. The American Horror Story? You heard what I said. <laughs> they would. Yeah. God, uh, I wish I had food. You want? Yeah, I know you want a pizza. I want a pizza so dang bad. Oh my yeah, we, God. we got no EBT, guys. So if somebody could help out, if Here you just send go. a pizza to us, that's fine. That's That would be awesome. No. Uh, <sighs> There's a so he did that little dance and didn't get a pizza then. I hope so. I really hope. <laughs> Love that. Food situation. Fold. Fold. But, like, <laughs> all this harassment has caused me not to be able to sustain myself, and I want to sustain myself for me and my family. And then you call me lazy and stupid and not knowing what I'm doing, and it's like, dude, you're causing all this drama yourself. Yeah. Right. Like if you we're, laid we're off me, it. maybe I could get successful. Yeah. And be able to support my family. Can I do that? Will you allow me to do that, haters? You get a job. Will you allow me will... and my family to succeed? Uh-huh. If she gets a job, I will change my tune. Not a joke. I will if they, if her and Rev get actual jobs, not this YouTube bullshit. If they get jobs, I'll change my tune. I'll say mm-hmm. Let's give him a chance. Yeah. It won't happen. Nope. Yeah, just for receipts, to make sure there's receipts, okay? I, if if we were left alone in the habitat, we would have been fine right now. Yeah, we would have. Apple stock split three times, we're good. Forever. We would have been fine. And being able to buy tons of food, the best food you could imagine. No problems. <laughs> it was ruined. Yeah. That's just a fact. And, that's and not, Dragna perpetuated this an it by... Idiot. They, had, they owed 20 grand. They were just weren't paying rent. Right. He's talking about something to do with stock. Right, but he said the Habitat. That's that apartment complex that they lived at in Colorado. Oh, that's... It was called the Habitat? That's something Habitat or Habitat something, right? Um... I've heard it mentioned before. Oh. I thought it... I didn't... I never heard it called the Habitat, but... You're probably right. Tons of food, the best food you could imagine. No problems. <laughs> it was ruined. Yeah. I don't know about blessings um, through and, that bush, but uh, I'll say give them a chance. I mean, if they got jobs, then that would at least be a step in the right direction. Right. I just don't see it happening. No. And Dragna perpetuated it by saying, I want you to try to get any type of money or anything you can out of the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're called scam artists when literally he set up the scam. Yeah. That's correct. But they always want to say, oh, we didn't swat nothing. Then no swatting happened. You're liars. And you know, like, when you found out that Shani and I were on the Shane Dawson video, oh, you guys know. Yeah, we were jealous. And you destroyed a very beautiful family living situation because we were so happy there. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We were having holidays like normal family. You were so happy that you were getting shit-faced drunk, taking your kids to the movie theater, getting shit-faced drunk, and then coming home and getting physically uh, violent with each other. Yeah, your oh. life was just wonderful. Wonderful. Soccer, um, count, soccer says, count said, yeah. yeah, the habitat was the place they got evicted from when Shani... Oh, hold on. Where did it go? When Shani got arrested, uh, not the last place they lived. That was the promenade. Yes, that's what I was thinking. That was... The the one in that they that we saw the house tour and all that that was the promenade. 
But still, they owe twenty thousand dollars in back rent, or they just stopped paying rent. So mm-hmm. I just yeah. don't. I don't know how he's saying that somehow Apple stock was going to split three times and they were going to be set for life. I mean, it didn't happen. This is where you're at. Deal with he's it. He's dumb. Yeah, he's dumb. You guys, know what you did, and you destroyed a very beautiful family living situation because we were so happy there. Yep. We were having holidays like normal families and, and, and doing stuff for Christmas and all of that. It was beautiful. And then we got really depressed. More depressed than you'd ever imagine getting depressed. Yeah, and feeling like we had to protect ourselves because of what happened to us. From them. We were motivated by if them. If they don't stop telling themselves this, they will never We need a place of security. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got that. And, and, and we it, still got stolen from. Yeah, it didn't matter. And vandalized. <laughs> yeah, still happened. It still happened. No one ever said sorry about this, doing this to us, by the way. No. Because I they, mean, if you really think it's okay to go into someone's private home and videotape it and ransack it, that's the type of people you're supporting. And they'll do it to you as quickly as they did it to me. Yeah, and they're so dishonest. They go in there and they, they, they claim that the, the way that they filmed it is the way it was when we left. Completely not true. Not true at all. They threw toilet water and everything else, balsamic vinegar in the, in the refrigerator to make it look disgusting. No. Uh, they did everything they could before they filmed it. To, and then they filmed it and said, look at this disgusting. Okay, and so how did they do the, the litter box? Can you explain that one to me, Rev? How did they make that bed and that the sheets and shit look that fucking filthy? Right. How did they soil it over nine months in a 20-minute video? Blood on the walls. Food and everything else all in your bathroom. It's like nobody ransacked that fucking place. It was disgusting. And we saw bits and pieces of it before you moved out. That's how everybody knows it was that bad. We could we saw things before then. Right. So keep lying. <laughs> God, God. Ridiculous. Look at these boys have nothing in their rooms. That's because we took it. Well, yeah, they had their stuff. Right. That wasn't Did true they? either. I mean, Zachary's room was full of toys. Filled with plushies. Yeah, that's what he loves, his plushies. I mean, it was literally Yes, thick. and you left them there. A huge uh, basket thing of them. You didn't, and, and we saw the vehicle you guys took. You didn't get a moving truck or nothing. You just got in the Durango and went. You mean to tell me they had all their stuff in there? No. No, I don't believe that. And nope. I know how fucking selfish you two are. So I know your stuff came for their stuff. Like always. Filled with plushies. He could bathe in the plushies. He had so many of them. He had them in a pool. He like, did. He had them in a kiddie pool. Ah! Well, it was a pool for, meant to be a ball pit. But oh, it was a ball pit. That's it was a ball was. pit, yeah. and he it, he put all his plushies yes, in it with and balls. You left like, them I, all well, there. he didn't care about the balls, really. No. He just wanted the ball pit. He and... wanted the ball pit full of plushies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool. Think about it. That's really cool. What kid wouldn't want that? He could just jump in plushies like, Mario, Luigi. That would be a cute video. Yeah, but, it would have been very cute. But you left them all. Like, he doesn't have any of that anymore. We saw the video. You left all of those. Like, yeah. And you took that from us. They're trying to rewrite yeah. history. And you know it. And you know it. You know it. Yeah. You can deny it all you want. You know it deep down in your soul. And if it happened it to you, you'd be a lot more bitter than we are. <laughs> because I can honestly say I did let this shit go. I let it go. But we're talking about people that are trying to mess with our lives right now. So we're reminiscing over the absolute horrible experience of being two YouTubers that were victimized yeah. by, by an audience. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really weird story. It is. We should write a book on this. Holy crap. We could write yeah, a movie start, on this. Start, there is a movie in it. Yeah, there is definitely a movie in it. Yeah. Like, we could score big bucks on what you guys did to us. You know that, right? We You've been saying start this for The horror stories of being an oh, online fun. celebrity. Oh, my God. And, and then more people could join on to it. More people could tell their story. I think that would be a good thing to produce. Yeah. Get it on Tubi or, or, or Roku or something. The horrors of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to be a YouTuber? Not when you see these stories, you won't. No. Nah. No. Nah. Mm-mm. Wow. 
But I'm glad my kids are almost 18 years old. They're not going to be able to bother me no more over that stuff and that issue. Yeah. I bet you are. Wow. What did she just say? I bet you are. Or Roku or something. The horrors of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to be a YouTuber? Not when you see these stories, you won't. No. Nah. No. Nah. Mm -mm. Wow. But I'm glad my kids are almost 18 years old. They're not going to be able to bother me no more over that stuff and that issue. Yeah. My kids are almost grown. Yeah. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I can have a decent relationship with my sons and not having to worry about other people interfering in our lives anymore. Yeah. That's right. I hate her. I've never seen a delusion this severe. And if anything, I'm keeping the boys in foster care for the reason to protect them from you guys. What? So now she's you realized going to... that, right? Oh this is my crazy. god. Is she fucking serious? So now it's our fault that Rev kicked your child in the head. I will and say you though lost custody. That is an ingenious way. Like she knows she's never getting them back. That is an ingenious way to justify it. I'm not getting them back because I'm protecting them from you guys. So they, they won't be in this house and on camera and all that stuff. Like, she is, dude. Wow. So it went from cancer to, uh, wh what was the earlier that she was saying? Something about uh, that she contacted CPS. and, and Right. She needed. called them and said, I'm sick. He's sick. Um, Can you get my kids for a while? Now it's that she did it to put them in, in foster care to get them away from us. People need to see this <sighs> shit. It's crazy. Hold on. Let me go back. Yeah. That's right. And if anything, I'm keeping the boys in foster care for the reason to protect them from you guys. You realize that, right? Is I'm trying to keep them away from you guys and protect them. Right. So the answer was to go to CPS and put them in foster care, not turn the goddamn computer off and get the fuck off the internet. Man. No, your answer is put them in foster care to get them away from the internet. Not to fucking get off of the internet so that's not an issue anymore no because in her mind like the way she's saying it is we're still a family i still have a great relationship with her. she is fooling herself into all of this shit she believes her own lies oh my god oh you don't like to hear that do you <laughs> I your kids don't do you her. but you don't Bet don't you like don't to hear it. I don't believe it. You don't like, like, you mean, don't like to hear uh, yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> we don't like to hear it. You're the one that don't like to hear the truth, bitch. That's you. She said you don't like to hear that. I, I could give a fuck. I'm I'm sad for your fucking kids. Right. She don't care. She doesn't get that. I bet you don't like to hear that. Like, what are you talking about? Right. I'm, your misery is about the best thing I get to hear every day. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like hearing anything that comes negative your way, do you? But you sure like to speak negative about other people. What did you expect? You talking negative about people and you don't think they're smart enough or, or, or bold enough to say something? Of course they are. I'm especially bold enough to say something. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. We're called to be bold. Be oh, bold. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. She's shoving Jesus and down her throat again. Yeah, I better. I am going to shove Jesus down your throat when you're saying you're a believer in Christ and you're acting like the devil. Right. When are you going to practice that, though, on yourself? She's so bold. Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. You said, Michael, that's called a narcissist sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Undead Pikachu Gaming. That's how you defeat the devil. You do know that, right? Amen. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm thinking of this as spiritual warfare. I'll treat it as spiritual warfare, and I rebuke every single one of you hating people in the name of Jesus Christ. 
then I've been Jesus so Christ will teach you the lesson and never do that again. I guarantee it. I have yeah. been. I don't so even rebuked. have to pick up my finger and do it. I'm just telling you. Is that what Jesus is doing with you right now? Is that why your life is in shambles? That's the crazy thing. She does not see that. Yeah, she, I, I don't she, blame you, Solus. It's work. It's working on my nerves too, to be honest. She points at people and says, "God, get them," but it won't happen to her. It doesn't. It doesn't come back on her. Right. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. You know, don't tell me I told you so because I told you so. I told you so. I'm like Noah in, in on the ark, and I'm like, "Come in, people! Come on! Come in! Come in! There's gonna be a storm coming." And all the people yeah, well, Noah. I tried to tell you the same thing. I tried to tell you that if you took him back in your house, that you were going to lose custody of your children, and you didn't listen, and you did it anyway, and you lost custody of your children. So I know all about that kind of mentality, Shani, and you have no room to talk at all. But she, now she's like Noah. Then she was like, um, which, oh, uh, Elijah has a high spirit of Elijah. Um, they're archangels. Archangels. They're, they're the, the witnesses. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're just in the Bible constantly. Apparently, delusions of grandeur. To People are laughing degree. and joking and conjoling. Nah, it's never gonna happen. It doesn't rain. Mm -hmm. And then it finally rained, and they all freaking freaked out. That's what's gonna happen to you guys. Yeah, I think that's true. Because this online stuff is just getting more and more intrusive in people's lives and it is going to become a thing uh, yeah because you're going after celebrities and politicians now that's pretty stupid really dumb you're going after the most powerful people and thinking that your voice actually matters wow it doesn't you just have an opinion bullshit everybody's voice matters it might not to you but it does it matters shanny matters just to like someone else. you're a peon wow it's just an opinion in fact it's written in a lot of legal documents that they consider us peons they call us peons oh my god okay little peon go after the celebrities and see what happens go after the people that have money and see what happens you're gonna be in a world of hurt yeah you're you're, you're there's gonna be laws established and everything over this stuff it's all only a matter of time because you guys decided let's just continue being dumb dumb dumbs on the internet dumb 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 man they really dumb, better dumb. stop uh with von helton because he's got money now Oh, I can't wait to <laughs> man. Dude, I'm not, like, a Vaughn fan, okay? He thought my son was sexy, but, like, oh. and then he thought he turned... Yeah, you're not a Vaughn fan. He thought your son was sexy, but you're going to defend him right now, right? Right. Because that's the kind of piece of shit person you are. Undead Pikachu Gaming, thank you for the super chat. You said you pee on that couch. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. nasty. That's only pee on she So is. nasty into a black cat that was really freaking crazy but anyway thank you yeah he thought you. william turned into watermelon after saying he was <laughs> sexy oh my word oh okay. my word so oh, i'm not a big word. fan of him but i know he's crazy like that because of you guys oh yeah i'd be God. on his side in this case go get him Vaughn. Mm -hmm. just get him i'm on any person's side who's gonna get you guys of course you're on the child abuser's side right that doesn't surprise anyone <laughs> yeah any person's side. It's true. Because it's time you felt the pain that you've done to others. Yeah, that's right. It's time that you and Rev felt the pain that you put your kids through. That's what I want to see. How do they not see this? I, I want to see. I want to see Rev get kicked in the head like he kicked your son in the head. I want to see you sit there and starve and waste away because you're not being fed. I want you to have to sleep on the floor without a pillow or a bed. I want you to have to try to go without heat. Because you had the space heater in your room. Get the fuck out of or here. Or get with forced this shit. to stay in your room because other people are filming. Oh, disgusting. And then of course it's always, oh, we didn't do anything. Yeah, you guys know what you've done. And you know it's wrong. You just know it's wrong. You do. You like to try and claim that it's for reasons that are virtuous, but it's not. Never was. Never was. It's for the lulls. We do it for the lulls. That's your quote. Yep. You perpetuate drama for the lulls. How is that for the betterment of children? 
if you're doing it for the lulls. I don't do it for the lulls. I've never you're said liars, that. and then you say I've literally d- never said anything like that. I'm doing it for the lulls in any way. So I don't know who they're talking to, but that ain't that that does not apply to me. I've and never now, said that. since the kids are gone, it's to make sure they don't come back, and it's to make sure that you dipshits pay for what you did. That's mm-hmm. really what what I think. Mm-hmm. The other, you get mad when other people lie. Yeah, <laughs> that's the funny thing. It's real funny is they're constantly lying about people, but yet they get mad when someone lies. True. <laughs> What's that? Yikes! You hypocrite, much? Why are you mad at what you do, man? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because it's not about you, or it's it's it, it, or is it about you that you were lied to? And now you get mad at it. Maybe you should have gotten mad at lying as a whole and not do it yourself. I you just reap what you sow. That's freaking karma. Yeah, it's because you lied, and when you it lied, is. they lied about what you lied. Don't get mad at so lying you if you're lie. lying. That makes you so stupid. Yeah, that's literally like turnabout fair play. But the funny thing is, we don't engage in lying. We do not do that crap. Right. Don't need to. No. My life is far more entertaining by telling the truth than telling a lie. Right. You know, if I was telling a lie about my life, I would I would say how wonderful and glamorous it is if I was <laughs> actually lying about my life. Why would I be lying about being sick, ill? Because you want sympathy and money. And that's what's going to get the money. Right. Nobody donates to somebody whose life is great and... Doesn't... Don't act like... Don't get on here and say you don't lie. You've lied for the past... Three or four years since you started saying that you had cancer. Right. You said, I got a test. It said cancer. Now I have to get the prognosis. That's what she you said. She said she got the diagnosis, but not right. the prognosis. Which is, yeah, I got the diagnosis. that I that t- did the test. The test came back positive. Right. For cancer. That's what she said. But also yeah. this bullshit that she called CPS and said, hey, can you come pick up my kids? Like there's some kind of fucking babysitter. Like, right, mm-hmm. that's a lie. I mean, I, right, doesn't work that way. And yeah. if that's there's if it, countless amount of lies that we've caught them in, though. But let's just say, if that were the case, if there was a, a a CPS in this country, maybe Pennsylvania does it different, and you can call them up and say, "I don't want my kids for a few months. Can you come grab them?" And they do that. Why would there be criteria that you have to meet for them to come back? Right. Oh, she's full of it. Pretty much bed bound. Why would I lie about that? How glamorous and wonderful does that look on you? No, it doesn't. No. You're going through it. Nah. Yeah, exactly. That's what's happening. You, I mean, you've had a life that's been torn apart by the internet in multiple ways. And my mother. Yeah. Oh it my first God. was my mother, and then she got on the internet and decided to give the rain over to my trolls. Here you go. But I mean, I, you could you could probably pretty accurately say that that the internet broke up your you, the previous marriage you had. Yes, they did. Pretty oh much. my yeah, god! Yeah, they did. Drag Here and Sabella both helped breaking up my marriage with Chris. Well, there you go. Right. See, I mean, this is what you've dealt with, and then people are like, "Well, why aren't you just totally normal?" Uh, would you be normal? No, they wouldn't. Mm-hmm. They, they probably would. I don't know if they'd be breathing because it's really tough. The stuff you've gone through. It's Whatever. it's been very 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 rough stuff. That you've gone through, but you're still st- you're still here. <laughs> I am. You're still here. I am. I am still here, and I I'm still, still like here. going and moving forward in life. Yeah, yeah. Like the only piece people who are stuck in the past are them. Yeah, it's okay. definitely not me. I'm trying to move on with my life. Roll forward. Same you with you. Are. Roll forward. Yeah, Dude, you've done I some fucked up shit. Are. Yeah, yeah. I've done some some fucked up shit, but we get in the therapy and the help we need to fix that shit. Exactly. So what is your fucking problem with us? Your if we're actually abuser. getting the help we need to fix our problems, why are you coming after us? Why are you hating on us? Yeah. You why are you trying to get answer. us in jail for things we've already paid for? Yeah. <laughs> it's called double jeopardy. That doesn't happen in this country. It's illegal. That's right. Double That's jeopardy. Not what but, like, you got, but you guys, you want to do double je- jeopardy. You want to be the judge and executioner. They want a lifetime trial. Yeah. But that's not what man, happened either. I'm sick of being so put on trial when Rev by went people. To court, man. Yeah, you should. Um, they didn't they didn't pursue charges. So like when she didn't come to court and stuff, they didn't pursue char- they didn't say this is dismissed with prejudice so that charges can't be filed later. They just didn't pursue charges. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. if more evidence came forward, they could still charge him with that shit. That's not double jeopardy. 
Double nope. jeopardy is a jury finds you not guilty, and then they try you for that same thing. That's not this in any yeah. way. Yeah. Really sick. I don't need to be put on trial. I ain't doing nothing to nobody. No, you're not. I ain't doing nothing to nobody. But you're doing things to other people. You're the one who's talking ill about people. You're the one who's pointing fingers at people. And you go after people who are sick and mentally ill. And then you go say you're a wonderful person when you're actually going against people who are mentally sick and ill. It doesn't work. No. <laughs> nah. It doesn't work that way, honey. No, it doesn't. Look at everyone honeys. they go after. They're all mentally ill or sick. Or all of them. Yeah. To be. Every single one of them. Yeah. They, they don't go after healthy people. No. They challenged people in some way or another. Well, but what I don't get is why is that somehow, And you know they lying about... Why is that um, indicative of us and not them? You know what I right. mean? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They challenged people in some way or another. And you know they lying about me because they say I'm mentally ill all the time. But at the same time, when I'm talking about my mental health, they're saying I'm lying about my mental health. <laughs> the hell? How could you go out one face say I'm mentally ill, and when I'm getting mental health, you're saying I'm lying about it at the same side of your face? That's really stupid. I don't recall. Like, am I mentally that. ill or not? I didn't. I've never said she lied. Which one about is it? Her mental illness. I said she lied about the physical illness and the cancer, but I've and never also, said anything. About it. I do. I do think that she's mentally ill. So I do too. I just don't think she's mentally ill with what she says she's mentally ill with, and I don't think that this is therapy, like what she's saying it is. I think it's court ordered counseling. Right. It's well. It's not. I don't know about. Court, it's ordered through CPS. That's what. Right. That's what. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You expect normality from mentally ill people. That's really dumb. Really dumb. That's really dumb. To go to a neurotypical in my mind and expect a typical mind. Yeah. That's really fucking dumb. It is. It is. Oh, I don't like being talked like this. She's putting me down. She's hurting my feelings. Good. You're not to you, then, yeah. Good. I'm glad it hurt your feelings. It's maybe you should quit feeling feel it. Here. Maybe you should quit that shit. Maybe you wouldn't feel that way. Maybe your feelings wouldn't be hurt. If you no, it doesn't <laughs> hurt my feelings at all. I didn't think so. <laughs> Sorry, I had it on mute for a second. <clears throat> well, if it applies to you, then yeah. Good. I'm it is. Oh, I don't like being talked like this. She's putting me down. She's hurting my feelings. Good. Well, if it applies to you, then yeah. Good. I'm glad it hurt your feelings. Maybe you should quit feeling. Maybe you should quit that shit. Maybe you wouldn't feel that way. Maybe your feelings wouldn't be hurt if you didn't engage in that mentality. Yeah. Maybe you you, you could look at yourself and be like, I'm innocent. I don't do that stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you're engaging in that mentality and you're offended by what I said, good. You should be offended by it. Yep. You need to be offended by it, and you need to feel it and recognize your crappy behavior. Yeah. Absolutely. I think she's edifying us. Period. When you right, start doing that, Shani, when you start doing that, you can come at us because you don't recognize any of your bad behavior. So right. please just shut the fuck up. Right. Right. Yes, ma'am. Keep sucking on that vape, girl. Hoping it's going to give you something. Is this her way of being like, see, we need one? <coughs> I've also <God>. noticed. <coughs> They like to go after people who are LGBT. Oh, oh my God. God. That, that's Here really we go. Stacy, Miss Hussy, um, Emo, yeah. all gay. Yeah. I don't even know who yeah. those people are. Yeah. They go. They used to go after G-Man before they decided to go on a narcissistic love bombing with each other. <laughs> um, they used to go and do the shame game with him and say he's gay all the time. Hence attacking the LGBT and making fun of the LGBT like there's something wrong with it. Drag's been doing that for years to G-Man. He thinks it's funny to make fun of the LGBT. Drag does. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it for years. True. And I don't need to tell you. The video proof is right there on his fucking channel. You can find the tr proof yourself. Mm -hmm. I ain't looking at that shit and hurting my mental health. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, no. What? 
was it robotic for you a second ago? Uh-uh. Oh, it's just this computer then. Oh. Just making right. sure. <clears throat> no, no, no. So let, let's get this straight, haters. You go after sick people, mentally ill people, and the LGBT. Ah, uh, you're such good people going after people who are supposed to be protected by the government. Yeah. Wow. Protected class. She's sucking it again. Yeah, I don't think there's much left to say. I think we said everything that needs to be said. Like, I think so too, man. Yeah. I think so too, man. Like, it's just bad behavior, and, and, and please, for your own soul, stop it. Yeah, just quit it and move on with your lives. You'll feel better. Like I said, instead of knocking someone down, how about edifying them and supporting them and see how that feels compared to you knocking someone down. I guarantee you edifying someone and picking them up feels a heck of a lot better than knocking someone down. Yeah. Anyway, peace and Maranatha. Get better and heal. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Bye. All right. So we got still let's see play the dance then i'm gonna go get food okay um, let me share the screen <laughs> this dipshit was saying he was saying uh it's bad for his mental health and all this shit all and right, here we go. She forces him to do it. Mm-hmm. Pizza. Well, that was that. I guess I have to take it back. I think he could beat up Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that he did that, though, and then they still didn't get a pizza. I hope they didn't. So that's funny. All right. Um, let's go and finish the rest of this other one real quick. And then we're going to be wrapping this up. Are you going? Yeah. All right. Love you, Jean. Love you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are we at here? Let me see if I refresh it, if the chat would show up. <coughs> Maybe. Yay, it did. All right, cool. So let's <coughs> And then we got to get to where we were. People hate you, but you don't want to, and you want to complain that someone says bad to you, but you never think about the, the, the reason why they said something to you. Maybe it's because you, you get into other people's lives and you try to get personal with them. Quack. Quackity quack. Don't talk back. Don't speak on Witty Widow. I can speak on her if I want to. I'm seeing her bullied by someone and I can go and stick up for her if I want to. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, I didn't get no pizza and Dr. Pepper. I don't like people picking on people who are very sick and trying to deal with their own shit in life. How about you just ignore it, okay? And move on with your life over the sound. <laughs> 
Oh, Shanny. The water here gives you dry mouth terribly. That's not water. I don't think it's water. I know, it gives you dry mouth. Let me speed her up because this is boring as fuck. It just okay. makes me sad that people have to target people who are weak just because they find them as weak. Okay? Strong people, people who actually have strength, don't go after people who are sick or what you perceive as weak. Okay? That's what cowards do. That's what people looking for an easy freaking challenge does. Is you go after the weak. That's what that's what a barbarian does. A barbarian? Okay, Shani. You ain't strong talking crap about someone who's mentally ill or, or dealing with uh, physical ailments does not make you a tough guy. It makes you a horrible person. It really does. And it's not going to fly by Christ on Judgment Day either. You're all going to be judged by it. And you so all are going to be judged by it. And so will you. Maybe Lucifer the water is a hologram. How evil this world is. Quack. Hey, Sabella, why don't you go cheat on Bruce some more? Show people what kind of woman you are. Show Christ what kind of Christian you are, honey. Wow. You can't even, you can't even stay faithful to your husband. What makes you think you can stay faithful to God? Don't get on my case. I don't even like you. I want nothing to do with you. Oh my God, Shani. She's not, first off, she's not cheating on her husband. Second off, it's not your fucking business. Third off, what she believes and, and her relationship with God isn't your business either. So you can go fuck yourself. Gross. Cheating on your man with one of the grossest felons I've ever seen. Ugh. Well, you're with your man who abused your children once again. So you have no room to talk about anybody at all. And that ends this broadcast. <laughs> Wait, the karma. Oh my God, that's hilarious. She was talking shit and then the computer started fucking up. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back a little way. Ugh. Cheating on your man with one of the grossest felons I've ever seen. Ugh. Uh, and that ends this broadcast. <laughs> Dumbass. Now it sounds like a vibrator again. And that's it? Wow. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Um, let me grab really quick before we go the link for the podcast tonight. Because we only have a couple of hours now. All right. Copy that. Um, yeah, so we got... Here's the link to the um, to the uh, live stream that we're going to be doing in two hours. It's going to be 8 p.m. Um, Central, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, right? I got that right. Two hours. So um, we're going to have Miss Moonbear on there tonight. And um, 
it's going to be a really good one. So definitely want you to come hang out with us and uh, hear the rest of what we've got to say. So um, let me grab, uh, I'm going to pull up a song to leave you guys with. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, uh, don't forget to, to go and sign the petition. Um, if one of the mods could drop a link for the petition to sign to, to get Shani off of YouTube. If you guys want to drop that in the chat, that would be great. And um, let me see here real quick what we want to do. Um, sorry, hold on one second, guys. <clears throat> okay um so yeah we got that and then wait shani's channel got yanked prime mover what are you fucking with me i was just there let me go I still see it. I think it's still there. Wait, let me go look. <gasps> what? It's gone, you guys. No fucking way. Look, 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 look. This is what came up. <laughs> oh my god hilarious fucking hilarious i knew michael called it though they were we knew they were not going to get that their first paycheck from from youtube it was not gonna it was only a matter of time you know what i mean but I wonder if it was the petition. Oh, God. You know she is losing her fucking mind right now. Oh, boy. This is going to get interesting, you guys. Well, um, yeah. That is interesting, interesting news. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me see. Is Drader live? no he's not live wow you guys this is crazy um well i've got to go still because i've got the podcast but i will uh definitely be talking about this tomorrow and um we'll be having a little party and we'll go over everything so Love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Now we get to celebrate knowing that once again, everything is right with the world. Oh, Heather, thank you for the super chat. You said, damn, that karma was swift as fuck. You must call Michael and get his reaction live. Oh, boy. I wonder if he left yet. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me see really quick. I can put him on speakerphone. Hold on. Let me let him know that he's on speakerphone. I think y'all will be able to hear this, though. All right, hold on. Hey, you're on speakerphone. I didn't mean the dumb dumb. I didn't mean the dumb dumb part. You're on speakerphone and I'm live still. Guess what? What? Shani's channel's gone. He got taken down. <laughs> In the middle of her stream? <laughs> no. I guess it was like right right after we finished, I went back to watch the other one. And then, uh, like, literally, we just finished. And next thing you know, Prime Mover came in and was like, her channel got taken down. And I was like, no way. So I went to go... And when I went to try to click and play one of the videos, it said, this channel has been terminated for, uh... Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, shit. 
So everybody that's wanted awesome. to get your a little bit of your reaction. Oh, you're on right now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I haven't stopped going live yet. You're on speakerphone. I said that in the oh, beginning of the call. I thought you were talking about that for. I thought you were talking about for Jackson. I what? You were for Jack. Like, because normally I say sexual stuff, and you say. What I but you you obviously don't pay attention because I said I'm still streaming. Like I said that to you, but you, you didn't right. listen. I'm sorry. No, no okay. big deal. But anyway, they just wanted your reaction. That's funny. Okay, it's that's hilarious. Awesome. Yeah, we'll talk about it it's more. It's crazy that, uh, like, it's just so crazy. I wonder when it happened. It must have been, like, so timed perfectly because you literally, if you were streaming and her stream ended, like, right when you ended it, you know what I mean? Right. Or maybe they just let you play it. Or I don't know how it works. I'm sure she's going to pop up back on Rumble or somewhere or like Twitter that. Yeah. Well, I mean, she'll make a video, I'm sure. She'll make a video. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to jump off here. I just They wanted your reaction, so I jumped on really quick. Oh, okay. All right. Love you, babe. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Let me see. Um, yeah, that is something else. Let's see. Somebody, y'all are sending me something. Hold on. Let me see really quick before I, um, wrap this up. What's going on here? Um, somebody said something about sending something on Discord. Jelly Bean, I saw that you were saying, is there somewhere I need to, let me see. Um... Are we in mod chat here? Um, hold on, I gotta scroll down. Uh, oh, I it's a two. It was a super chat that I missed. Okay, it says from Opa, Drader is gonna be so happy. Yes, thank you so much for the super chat, Opa. I'm sorry that I missed it the first time around. But I um, really appreciate that. So thank you for that. And Taylor, you said, holy dog balls. I was eating and almost choked. What happened? I don't know exactly what happened, but she's gone once again. She can't, like, be that shocked by it. You know what I mean? Like, you were banavating. You knew you were. So come on. There's not. It was going to happen. Now you have time to focus on getting your computer fixed, Shani. But you guys, you know, you wanted to get on here and preach about karma and all this shit. And then look what happened. So that's all I'm going to say. But I do have a couple of things that I have to do, guys, before um, the podcast tonight. So I do have to run. Um, I'm going to leave you with a song the way that I do. And I will definitely, I don't know if I'll be back night after the podcast because the podcast is probably going to run long but I can promise you I will be on here tomorrow and we will go into depth about everything and cover anything that comes out from now if she does go live on rumble I will definitely bring that to you unless it's during the time that we're on the podcast tonight if that does happen and she goes live on rumble and um while I'm on the podcast, as soon as the podcast is over, I'll jump on and we'll cover it. So, you know, I'll, I'm going to bring that stuff to you as fast as possible. I will be watching. So thanks again, guys. I'm going to leave you with a song and I hope to see you. If the mods could drop. Oh, they already did. One more time. The uh, If you look in the link in the chat, uh, there's a link to the stream tonight. So make sure you go click that turn it on a notification so you make sure you get notified when we go live it's going to be in two hours um 9 p.m eastern and uh you guys need to come i want to see you there come hang out with us and we're going to go over some stuff that has nothing to do with Janie. but like i said we'll be um i'll be on the watch for all of this and I'm sure there's going to be lots that's going to happen and come out of it. So uh, it should be pretty interesting the next uh, few days. So um, love you guys so much. And uh, I will be seeing you next time. And don't forget, come on the podcast. Come hang out with us. See you in a little bit. Bye, everybody.